Are we good? Hello, everybody. What is happening? Big Jack Films here. Welcome to another live stream. Uh, basically doing another editing stream this time around. Hope everybody is good. Good to see Honey Bear in the chat. Welcome. Hello. Good to see you. Hope work is good for you today. Um, Brian Carroll. Hello. That is a creepy profile picture. Um, there is Night Fury Man 120. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, Matthew uh, Farr. Good to see you. Wow, a lot of people tuning in. Uh, James Loveland, hello. Um, Max Parker, good to see you guys. So, yeah, just to give you guys a couple updates, uh, we are right now adding clips to the next uh, King Kong review, which is the fifth part of the King's Gauntlet arc. It's actually the final part of the arc, and it's going to be coming out at some point <laughs> down the road. But, uh, yeah, because right after this, we're going right into Jurassic Park. And just to give you guys a bit of an update on Jurassic Park, because now they're all on the last stage. Um, so the next two weekends, uh, I'm going to be going to do pickup shooting um, on those episodes on the Jurassic Park stuff. Uh, Nikita and I are going to uh, one of our set locations on Saturday. And then uh, the following week, uh, which is April 23rd or 22nd to the 23rd, um, might might work those those dates. Uh, I'm going to be at Universal Studios Florida. Yep. Made a trip, booking it, and we're going to go down and do pickup shooting on Jurassic Park at Universal. So we're going to the studio uh, to do shots. So if you guys actually want to meet me at Universal, again, I will be there April 22nd and the 23rd. Uh, if you guys want to come say hi, uh, we'll be there most of that of that time. So yeah. Uh, so that's what's happening. I'm, I'm excited to see that. It says Night Fury. And speaking of Jurassic Park, are you excited for Jurassic World Chaos Theory? Yes. Um, I'm only going to briefly mention it in my review of Camp Cretaceous because it kind of came out of nowhere. And I'm still watching the show. So you'll have to find out what I think about it down the line. So, yeah. There is that. Uh, no worries, Star Master. Good to see you. Uh, will you do a review of Transformers Rise of the Beast? That's on the list, um, but not at the moment, unfortunately. Um, now, just a couple things, guys, just to let you guys know. Keep, uh, a couple rules uh, to the stream, of course. Keep the, uh, the questions minimum, uh, like in terms of requests. Uh, don't ask the same question over and over. And also, super chats are always appreciated to help support the channel. But with that said, let's get started. So I'm going to first and foremost um, stop the screen. And I'm actually going to go to... It's a very chill stream today, guys. So just bear that in mind. We're going to go there. We're going to go there. Now, here we are with our editing stream. I'm actually going to move us over there. Uh, good to see you, Geek Universe. Hello. Um, good to see you, Luke. Very chill day for me playing WWE 2K24 on my PS5. Very nice. Um, lip stink is off. Voice is delayed. It could be your reception, James. Uh, let me know if there's uh, some issues. I'm also going to send this stream out to a few friends. So just bear with me, guys. Um, personally, I like Camp Cretaceous. It was good aside from seasons four and five, which I won't spoil from you. Yeah, yeah, I'm still waiting. Uh, I'm still trying to get it going, too. I'm still watching um, uh, that at the moment. So let me just um, see where I am in the stream. Uh, one moment. I'm just going to switch. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to finishing up Camp Cretaceous. It, it looks good. It looks fun. Oh, no, that's Toucan Sam. Why is that there? Okay, come on. There we go. But how is everybody this week? It's, um, especially after the eclipse yesterday. Uh, that was pretty crazy. Uh, <laughs> Gonna go to yeah, that'll do for now. Okay, so yeah, uh, hope everybody's been good in terms of just uh, what's been happening. I didn't have glasses; my eyes still hurt. Well, that why? Why? <laughs> oh, dude, I am so sorry. That's that sucks. Um, nope, you didn't miss anything, Shark King. We are just streaming today. Again, I'm just going to get you guys set up so I can see you guys in the chat. I totally forgot to do this, by the way. I'm using a little tripod with my phone because I can't see the chat as I edit. So I have to kind of move stuff around. 
Let's see here. There we go. I'm just going to mount you guys there. Clamp y'all down. But yeah, today is editing the pretty much the last of this uh, King's Gauntlet arc where we are covering uh, the two De La Rente's King Kong movies, uh, which came out in nine, 1976 and 1986, to be exact. So I'm just going to try to get you guys just here. There we go. That ought to do it. I can see you guys right there on the chat. I'm also going to put the live stream on. I think it's 99 years. Um, let, yeah, um, it'll be 20 years next time. Really? Okay, interesting. So yeah, we're going to get started on editing this episode. And uh, the uh, so far, the audio edited clips are about mm, 43 minutes, so about 44. So we're going to try to at least get maybe 5 to 10 minutes done today. So with that said, let's see what, like, again, spoilers too for this episode. So if you guys don't want to be spoiled, um, spoiler alert. Well, it was only a matter of time. I talked about this beast for the billionth time, given my fanboy fascination with the 1976 remake. Okay, so what we're going to do first and foremost is I'm going to use uh, footage from the trailer that uh, Studio Canal put out, because that was good trailer footage. Also, I'm going to blow this up here. And we're also going to go to the trailer. Let me see. There we go. I want to use this trailer. And this will help... Uh, like keep, uh, you know, clips going. So this would be a two-parter like the confrontation episode, probably, and also to uh, uh, maximize uh, profits. We're going to probably do that. But let's see here. What do we got? Um, so I'm going to keep that clip, but let me just use... Um, yeah, I'm using... I don't have the new Studio Canal 4K release with this color palette, but at some point I do want to get it. Let's see here. Going to America, be a there we go. So yeah, it's a good trailer. It's a good trailer to use for uh, compilations. So let me just bring that back. I'm just gonna kind of blow it up a little bit so I can see a little bit more of the framing. And we're gonna go here. And this is yeah, this is where it's gonna go. Yeah, that was a that was a great trailer. I'm not gonna lie, that was a really good trailer that they put out. Um, is it this one? Yeah, I like this one. I, I like this one. I like this trailer. This is really good. Okay. I'm going to use as much as we possibly can here. So I'm just going to kind of cut that and trim. It's all about, like, editing it to where it can be abridged. I saw it two weeks ago, and it was freaking awesome. Godzilla the New Empire, second time over the weekend. How's the box office returns on its second weekend? That's what I want to know. If it's been doing uh, pretty good. All right, there. We only, okay, here we go. We only use this stuff. There we go. Ah! Now we got something. Well, it was only a matter of time. I talked about this beast for the billionth time, given my fanboy fascination with the 1976 remake. And you know, the... Just gonna add that... Remake and do the legacy with and do that. So that kind of trims things down. Uh, yeah, it's a good movie. I had fun with it actually. And do the legacy with King Kong. And for me, this was the most intriguing. Okay, so this is where we're gonna. We again, we just have to keep it kind of abridged in what we're talking about. Oh, let's see here. Oh, that's a, oh, I can use these two clips right here. There we go. Legacy with King Kong. And for me, this was the most intriguing and detailed amount of research I did for this retrospective. So, oh, let's... Okay. Oh, oh, oh. That's such a good trailer. That's such a great trailer that they put out. Godzilla X Kong is so far over 360 on a $35 million budget. That's really good, actually. Good on them. Very good. The amount of research I did for this retrospective. So let's end this expedition with a 1976 remake with. 
Let's see. So I'm going kind of from that there. Six remake with its origins going all the way back to its concept. Okay, so this is what's going. Cool. I'm going to add. Um, let's go to the library. Uh, these, this is this is a shot for Jurassic Park. Uh, pay no attention to that. Uh, I'm gonna go to my. Um, I'm gonna go to its origin. So I'm gonna go to the original concept art. Hmm. I'm gonna find some OG concept art. I think I have to. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we're gonna use uh, this shot, this poster. And we're just gonna slightly crop it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Its origins going all the way back to its concept. As we all know. There we go. So now we're gonna go and we're gonna take this image. We're gonna crop it. Pure irony. Um, Godzilla MonsterVerse, uh, this comes in long, more interesting. Now, this is the original artwork that they had that I think John Berkeley, I think his name was, sketched this, which is interesting. And it was originally going to have, uh, planes sent by actually the Canadian Navy planes because they were cheap but they couldn't get access to it, so they decided not to. I mean, like, it's a great, the original, do you mean the original poster, this, or the mod, the poster that they fixed up? That's what I want to know. You didn't miss anything in the Yasha Dinosaur 101, we're just getting started. You make with its origins going all the way back to its concept. As we all know, the origins of the remake, well, tinkered around from Cooper in the 50s. Okay, so this is where I want to add that Cinerama stuff. So I have to dig out my Cinerama episode, which do I have archived? Ooh, I might have to go get the archives. Hmm. Okay, so I know what I have to do here. Hmm. So I got that. Let me check my videos and media. Mm -hmm. No. Hmm. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. Mm. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. Okay. So let me just uh, put you guys on full screen for a sec, and I'll uh, just gonna try that because I might have to save this and save movie. Now, is it plugged in? I think it is. I don't. I don't. And there goes Falcor. <laughs> uh, just um, some stuff here. I just gotta fix some things up. Hold up. Yeah, is it even plugged in? No, it's not even plugged into the USB port. All right, hang on a sec, guys. Might have to move y'all for a sec. Ah, oh, you bastard. Gotta get right in there and put the port in. Come on. Come on. There we go. Got it. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, uh, that is plugged in. Sorry that took a sec. Uh, let's see here. So ironically, Monster vs. Godzilla is almost 250 million years old, so it's pretty much a dinosaur. He really is like a like legitimately a dinosaur, which is interesting. Uh, let me go to reviews. Let me go here. No. Um, can you still become a Were Kong? Yes, I can. That is still established in my show's lore. That I can still do that. Uh, let's see here. So I'm gonna put this. Let's put this here. Oh my goodness. I want to go to season three. 
I gotta go to my archives. I think it's, is it that one? I think it's that one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Jack, I got Godzilla X-Con Collector's Cup. Yeah, same. I actually have a, a movie theater cup as well, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so we got that handled. Let's go back. Yeah, I got this uh, Comic-Con, and what fell was this Falcor piece from uh, Comic-Con that I got. That's pretty cool. Um, technically, Monster vs. Godzilla. Hang on. Uh... Technically, Monster vs. Godzilla is a synopsis, which aren't really dinosaurs. In fact, mammals and are part of the... Ah, interesting. Okay, then. Ever consider watching wearing a King Cog suit in your remake? We did! Or did you ever consider? Me! Um, I did. There were a few shots where I wore the suit. Fun fact about that. Sometimes if Brad wasn't available, I would say, screw it, and I would wear the suit. I'm planning to get the Lightning Collection Dragon Dagger. Nice! Very nice. I have the original toy, actually. Um, review Gundam Seed Freedom movie. I mean, I've already kind of covered Gundam. I haven't seen that movie, and I have to get access to it, but maybe someday. Okay, let's go back here. Now, hopefully... What the fuck? Can you guys see it? Hopefully. Hang on. Is the mouse moving? I'm not 100% sure. Let me know if the mouse is moving. Is it moving, guys? Let me know. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Let's uh, let's put you guys here. Yes, hi, Mason. It's good to see you, too. <laughs> um, all right, so hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully that's working. Um, let me know if you guys don't see anything. Is this, can you see the mouse? Let me know if you can see the mouse. I'm not 100% sure if it froze the stream or not. Mouse is not moving. Okay, so did, okay, so give me a sec. Let me just, um, let's redo this. Again, sorry it's taking so long, folks. Uh, share screen, go to Pinnacle, wow, and there we go. Okay, now we can. Now we fixed it. Okay, we got it. I think. All right, let's continue. So I have to go to reuse some footage from one of my older episodes. That's what I love too, because I've already edited it. It already looks pretty good. So it allows me to kind of um, make it more easier to assemble. So I just have to let that render for about five minutes. So let's see. Any questions. Um. Stem mammal like a titan. It means human means he's human humanity. Very distant cause. Interesting. Wow. I have a main Gundam used for Gundam Seed for my Gundam collection. I need the Archangel Geek. That's the only model I really want from Gundam because that is like if the Starship Enterprise made love to the Millennium Falcon. I want it. If Legendary made it Godzilla X Kong spinoff featuring Son of Kong, do you think it'll be good enough? So with uh, Suko. And the son of Godzilla? Yeah, I'd love that. I just watched your Remaking Lost World video. Thank you so much, Mason. Guys, go subscribe to Mason. Um, one of my really good uh, filmmaking collaborators. Really nice guy. Really good friend. Um, his uh, his channel's got some cool stuff. He's working on some stuff behind the scenes. Uh, definitely check out his stuff. Really would support him on that. I've seen the other Marion C. Cooper, Ernest Schotzak movies. Um, I've seen... Chang and Grass. I haven't seen Four Feathers. Um, I've seen The Most Dangerous Game, which I did like. Um, I have to watch a few more of their films. Do you still have the same opinions about The Lost World? Being a Ridley Scott alien-esque uh, visual masterpiece? Yeah. As long as it's competent, as long as it's well made. Like, I still want to see a proper big-budget adaptation of the story. Like, I don't count Spielberg's film. I don't count the TV shows or anything. I just, like, something big budget, good director, huge cast, need one of those. Um, ever heard of an object show called Supernova? I have not seen that. Review Godzilla X versus Kong versus Justice League. I mean, I had to get the books first. I consider Godzilla a dinosaur no matter what. Godzilla 2014 had too many dinosaur visual motifs. Yeah! 
Um, I have been playing Star Wars The Old Republic. I have not played that game, actually. There's more stories to tell from Adam Wingard. He's not done with the Monsterverse, and yet I'm definitely on board with this. Yeah, same. I actually want to see what he does, too. Monsterverse Godzilla was stated that Junior came from a long time ago. Interesting. How do you feel about an unmanned John Landis King Kong movie? Um, I wish something about it came about, especially if they were going to use the animatronics at Universal. But um, I love it. I would love to see it. I did a review of that, actually. Thoughts on Dead Alive? Love it. My favorite uh, zombie movie. Would Godzilla be a dinosaur since the original? Oh, I always thought he was a radio. I always thought he was like, it was sort of like the Godzilla Saurus in um, uh, the Heisei era. That's my favorite origin. Considering the novel 1925 film are public domain, it still shocks me that there's not been a big budget remake of The Lost World. I mean, uh, who knows? Uh, there was a behind-the-scenes footage of the upcoming Primitive War that came out last night. Very nice. Looking forward to seeing that. Hey, Zane Productions, imagine the cinematic universe of rebooting the adapting the old dinosaur movies. That would be cool. Sort of a, a Jules Verne cinematic universe with Conan Doyle and all that. That'd be amazing, actually. I'd watch that. Uh, I watched Amphibia, and I loved it so much. I made a based off of Incredibles, which I have the 20th anniversary. That Oh, God. Is the Incredibles really 20 years old? That's insane. Wow. All right, let's get back to business, guys. Okay. So I'm going to take this footage from this episode. And because uh, I created sort of the Cinerama-esque view of the film, which is what something Cooper was going to do at some point. And show how it led to this possible Kong remake. Let's see here. I might as well start with the creation of Cinerama. All right. So let's um, take footage from this episode, which I do like doing. And we're going to add this into the thing. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen this episode, this was episode 34. Um, this is where I discussed when Cooper was planning to remake King Kong Color, but he was going to use the Cinerama process, but it never got off the ground. As we all know, the origins of the remake, well, tinkered around from Cooper in the 50s. All right, so I have to get a shot of Cooper. I'm going to save that shot, though. Here we go. Let's get the shot of Cooper. Cooper continued his Cooper. There we go. I'm going to use, reuse the shot of Cooper because that helps save time. The remake, well, tinkered around from Cooper in the 50s. And then we're going to go here. Go. Seeing who messaged me a sec. Okay, I'll have to get back to them. Okay, yeah, I will get to that, back to that. These with the Cinerama concept. The two attempts by Hammer in the 1960s. Oh, I have to get the Hammer episode. Okay, hang on a sec. There we go. These with the Cinerama concept. The two... Boy, I should just use Cinerama footage, actually. Hang on. Um, I'm actually going to switch these out. There we go. There we go. Hey, Jack, how far do you think Cog's humanity should be in handled? Um... I like where it's at right now. Did you see the eclipse where you're at? I did. It was interesting. I love how the Let's Talk of your Cog sequel idea for the original in the 70s series. Yeah. That was, that, there's some good episodes that I've worked on with these. Uh, let's see here. Hold on. I got a shit ton of messages here. What do you think is the most interesting aspect of the Lost World story? It's very much um, the classic adventure. It's sort of the milestone of classic adventure. It really is the dinosaurs that really make it um, work. I have heard of Mokili Mambembe Mason. I saw it in a documentary uh, with Christopher Reeve. I think that the stop motion was done by Phil Tippett on that. Let's see here. Remake well tinkered around from Cooper in the 50s. Let's see. I'm actually going to... Maybe, you know what? I'm going to mess around with this with a little bit. Um, let's see here. Let's take the Cinerama stuff. 
which I really like. So I think it's like this. You would look for films and ideas for it also. In Let's see if I can find out what this. Yeah, so I tried to recreate that Cinerama look. You would look for films and projects. I want to find like a really good shot from Cinerama I can use. Wide screen. This was due to the fact. Let's see. Um, let's let's use this shot from Cinerama. Happy Tuesday to you too, Joseph. Good to see you. Um, I I think I heard the recording. I think it was in that documentary. I'm not 100 percent sure. From Cooper in the 50s with the Cinerama concept. There we go. That works. That makes it look a little bit more alive in the in the episode. I have all the Kong movies on DVD. Very nice. You know what's funny in terms of formats? Um, so, oh, I wonder if I should grab this, actually. Hang on a sec, guys. I'm going to grab something. Okay, so I thought I'd show you guys these because I haven't um, I haven't really uh, shown you guys these yet. So uh, two weeks ago, I uh, got a lot of laser discs. Like I actually got a good deal on a few laser discs. Um, one I got for a friend, but the others are um, are actually pretty pretty cool here. So I'll show the one I got for from a, from a friend, and it's really legit. You guys see my Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, I got a copy of Akira. On Laserdisc, so this is the Criterion Collection Edition. I, I love the hell out of Akira. Um, if you have not seen this film, please do. But I uh, picked this up for a really good deal. Um, so got that. And actually, what's cool is I actually fold them out. What I love is the Criterion Collection; they fold them out, so you get like really cool artwork from the film. But uh, if you have, yeah, Akira is one of the definitive anime films. So uh, really cool that I got that. Uh, then. Uh, this is the main one. I, reason I went for this uh, for this uh, thing, uh, this lot. Uh, I finally obtained it. Now I have the 60th anniversary edition of this, but I did get the Criterion Collection of the original King Kong on Laserdisc. So it actually is. I've been looking at how it is, and I haven't checked the quality comparison. But this is the Criterion Collection. It has the first ever audio commentary. That's one of the main reasons to get it. This came out in. Uh, 1984, 1987, 1984, 1987, this, uh, disc. So glad I finally got that. And, the, and you can, I'll just open this up so you can see, like, look how cool that is. That's pretty awesome. But I did get the laser disc, which is really, really cool. Um, glad I got that off the list. And then the, it was a lot of like five for 40, which isn't actually terrible, but the main thing that I got as an as sort of a bonus, I didn't expect to pick these up, but I'm glad I did because they are kind of sought after. Uh, I got with the lot the entire Indiana Jones trilogy on Laserdisc. So this came with the lot. So I got these three with Kong and Akira. So a pretty good, pretty good bargain, I'll consider. So I got Raiders of the Lost Ark. I got uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. So all three of them on Laserdisc. Um, managed to grab these for a pretty good price, honestly. They are really nice laser discs. In fact, I think when Last Crusade came out, uh, Spielberg was advocating for the widescreen release on VHS, but Paramount didn't budge, so he was really advocating everybody to get the laser discs. So I'm glad I got those um, for me in my collection of laser discs. Um, they're sort of the essentials, um, but it's more just getting my favorite films. Next up on my list is I have to get the Back to the Future trilogy and Star Wars. I have to get the original Star Wars trilogy at some point on Laserdisc. So there is that. Anyway, I just thought I'd show that off. Let's answer a few questions here quickly before we continue. Um, which Lost World character is your favorite? Um, 
I like Challenger and the least favorite. I don't like the main hero. I can't even remember what his name is. Uh, he was so pointless. Kind of a wimp. I mean, I just, I, it was kind of hard to follow to a degree with his character. Good news. Bob Show just reviewed the first never ending story film and is planning to review the sequels. Very nice. I'm going to have to check out his review. Um, really want to see that. By the way, low key guys, uh, put in a super chat and I'll react to something on the stream. Just make sure it's uh, family friendly and and it's uh, okay to watch. So, um, if it's like a Godzilla thing, a Kong thing, uh, let me know. Uh, but yeah, I have to get the laser disc for Star Wars at some point. Like, I want to get the box set, like the the black box set with the definitive version. So, anyway, let's continue with where we were. Okay, so we were here. So I have to get the Hammer Kong uh, episode. I gotta grab that. So let's go over here. Hmm. Oh. No, I need to get the hammer Kong. Let's see. Is it even in? No. Okay. So let me go to my archives. Do 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 do. No, I don't want that. I want my archives. God damn it. <sighs> um. Let's see. Have you ever seen the anime series Rama One Half? I've seen most of it. Or like I've seen pieces of it. I've never watched it fully. Uh Shrek 2 is getting a 20th anniversary re-release. Yeah, a lot of a lot of re anniversary releases the next few months. You have Shrek 2, The Mummy, and then May the 4th, The Phantom Menace, which I think is interesting. We're actually gonna probably go see that actually. Um be funny if I did an opening night of Shrek 2. <laughs> God, I haven't seen that one in a long time. Akira is awesome. It's a great movie. Fantastic film. In Peter Jackson's King Kong gameplay for the Brontosaurus level, um, I know you didn't do so hot with that level, given you were a raptor chow. Yeah, it wasn't. It was hard to play that one, honestly. Um, I did not really care for that game. Was just way too hard. Last time I remember, I like what you said about JT's reward spoiler starts. Basically, Batman or Robin. It is. That's what Godzilla X Kong is. It's Batman and Robin done right. All right, so I'm going to go to mm -hmm. season three. We're going to find the Hammer episode. Because that's going to help me with editing. There we go. And we're going to go here. I want to see the original Star Wars in my movie theater. I mean, interesting enough, Star Master, outside of the Phantom Menace, uh, apparently they're doing these marathons with the entire Skywalker saga, so you can see all nine films in one go. So technically, you could see the original Star Wars um, in theaters uh, May the 4th weekend. So there you go. Um, if King Kong versus Frankenstein was still a sequel, I think King Kong would have ha would have had a long... Lost son, all grown up and captured by Carl's grandson. That's a good way to go put it. I like those grandson stories. Like, what is it? Um, not Son of Frankenstein, but um, there's like a following Frankenstein that actually uh told the story pretty well. Um, can't remember. But then there was also what I loved was uh, I think it was Zorro's Black Whip, which had uh, it was one of those sat the one of the serials uh from the forties, and it starred. John Carroll as Zorro, but he was actually the grandson of Don Diego de la Vega. So it was cool. To, and he was fighting more bad guys in the modern day West than he was in like the 17th, 16th or 17th century um, or 18th century. So it was just interesting how they, um, they uh, went with that angle. If you ever, if you've never seen any of those old Zorro serials, they're actually pretty fun. I do know about the Amazon show. I do want to watch it at some point. I just haven't gotten the chance to. I know there's a couple of Zorro projects in the works right now. Uh, Young Frankenstein. A lot of people consider that the canon thing. Um, maybe. That's that's potential. All right. Let's see. So let's get the Hammer Kong in here. So I'm going to put the fake poster in here. Because that actually does help in editing. Let's see here. There you go. Uh, the two attempts by Hammer in the 1960s. And most notably the... Actually, I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna take the uh, this yeah. Here we go. This this uh, I always like the Volkswagen stuff. That that works out. 
me use the uh, the that because that's gonna help uh, with assembling it. Actually, I like that that image that animation shot of Kong is pretty good. good. There we go. Captures Amy and climbs Big Ben, which leads to an air battle with. Yeah, that was from uh, episode thirty-seven. There we go. Do you think Cog's becoming more human in terms of behavior? I mean, yeah, but like he's supposed to be the human character for a lot of the audiences against Godzilla. Clayton Moore played Zoro in the serial, and he's most famous for playing the Lone Ranger. Really? I know that. Concept. The two attempts by Hammer in the 1960s. I know about Bump in the Night. That was a good show. And most notably, the spark started by former Disney... Okay, this is where we get kind of crazy, people. This is where we take a bit of a nosedive into the territory of the Legend of King Kong. And this is where I have to kind of go and put my, my, th my thinking cap on and figure out how we're going to do this. So, what I want to do, I want to change it up a tad bit. So let's go to my ep that episode. Hey, Super Chat! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Super Michael. Really appreciate that. We got a Super Chat. Have you ever talked about King the Cog Balloon they put up in the Empire State Building in 1983? If you go to my 1933 prop episode, Michael, we talk about that in great depth. In fact, let me, um, let me see if I can find which episode that is. That is episode... Um, if you go to my if my Kong reviews, it's episode uh, 86. Um, King Kong 1933 pop, props and puppets. What happened? We talk about it right there, Super Michael. Really appreciate that super chat, guys. Super chats uh, always do help uh, fund our projects, so thank you. But you can find it there, man. Hopefully that helps you out. Okay. Uh, let's go to that. We're gonna, now we're going to take the Legend of King Kong, because I have a whole episode on the Legend of King Kong that thankfully I have stored, and we're going to go to, um, which one was that? I'll just use whatever's available. There we go. I'm also going to, um, to do that. I have not seen Singular Point. I know it's on Netflix. I should watch that at some point. Really should. Um, if all Western heroes like Zoro, Lone Ranger, and others have Avengers, so basically League of Extraordinary Gen Gentlemen, Star Master, but with better heroes, I would watch the hell out of that. Like I know Tarantino at one point was going to adapt his comic book of Django meets Zoro. And the plan was not only to get Jamie Foxx to come back, but they were going to get Banderas to come back and sort of his last road to Zorro. And that ended up not happening. But that would be cool if they did that. Imagine if Call Below returned to the Empire State Building for the 100th anniversary. That would be awesome. I would love the hell out of that. That would be a really cool idea. Um, Wally will be 20 years old in four years. No! Night Fury, stop making me feel old, man! <laughs> Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is similar to Carnosaur. Yeah, like, uh, how about a big-budget remake of Carnosaur? That's what I want. What do you think of Dragon Ball Super? Dragon Ball Super, I actually think, is a really good show. It's much more of a, um, like, sort of a, uh, what is it, um, satire, like, sort of like one of those, uh, comedy shows, like Friends and stuff, very, uh, sitcom but um, when they get to the epic stuff, it's a, it's fantastic. I really enjoyed Dragon Ball Super. Um, so there's that. Really enjoyed that. So again, we're just waiting for this thing to e oh edit. Do you think some of the hybrids of the giant uh, giants and Godzilla the New Empire look human? Hate preferences. Um, I mean, kind of, but not really. I think they're just more primitive apes. Um, who would win the fight? The Beast from Beauty the Beast or Tarkovsky's General Grievous? Okay, that's an interesting concept. I think if you gave the Beast a lightsaber, 
it probably he'd probably be okay and to handle himself. But I think Grievous has the speed. Be cool to see on its hundredth anniversary. Yeah, it was it would Super Michael. That would be really cool. But yeah, so um definitely uh, all the funds you guys send via super chat actually helps us out with our productions at Universal. So it's really appreciated, guys. General, you are a bold one, Night Freddy Man. What should you do after episode 100 of the King Kong Review? So, the plan is, I'm going to be, okay, so I've got, um, we're on like what, episode 91 with this, of 91 and 92. So, after this, I'm going to do a couple of parody corners, which are a lot simpler and easy to do. But episode 98 and 99 are going to be reserved for the Skull Island anime on Netflix and Godzilla X Kong the New Empire. After that, we are going to do episode 100. It's going to be episode 100, 101, 102 are going to be re-revisits of 1933, 1976, and 2005. But after that, what I'm considering is doing, and God help me if this is a spoiler, Asylum Ape Month, where I will be covering all their Kong ripoffs as a marathon. And that includes King of the Lost World, Bigfoot, uh, Ape vs. Monster, and that other Ape vs. Mecha Ape. I think I'm going to cover all four of them and torture myself. I'm going to have a brain, brain aneurysm, and that's going to be a pretty epic series. I think it's about time I really finally get them the beating they deserve. It's also been a hot minute since I've done a really bad movie. It's been a hot minute, so I'm due for a bad movie marathon, basically. God help us all. It's like, please, for the love of God... You're going to kill yourself, Jack. Don't do it. I'm doing it. And then after that, I'll figure out what the hell I'm going to be doing. Uh, let's see. Oh, God, that brutal even... Yeah, I know. I'm going to torture myself. I'm going to have a brain aneurysm. Kill me. And most notably, the spark started by former Disney CEO Michael Eisner, who saw... All right, so we're going to do that. Former Disney. Let's see. So I'm going to kind of move this around. going to put Disney there. There we go. And most notably, the Sparks. Sparks started by former Disney CEO Michael Eisner. No, that's too much. There we go. Yes, the one we've been looking for, Night Fury Man 120. Kong on the Planet of the Apes. Like, the book? I mean, books are, like, I kind of already did when I did my book episode, so possibly. Uh, yeah, for our entertainment, so best be getting those Patreons going, guys, if you want me to, if you want me to torture myself. Good lord. The spark started by former Disney CEO Michael Eisner, who saw the original King Kong on TV, and with its... Okay, here we go. Now I gotta go find a clip from the original. Oh, you know what would be cool, actually? I'm gonna create a cool visual here. Let's go to Google Images. Let's go to 1971 TV. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're going to make this look good, guys. I have an idea. I have a really, really cool idea. So just bear with me here. Uh, let me find a really good image I could use here. Ooh, that's... A, mm, I mean, that's a little bit small, but I wonder if that's like a bit more vintage looking. I've got a really, really, really cool idea for a shot. This is where it's going to require some visual effects aid, so just bear with me. 
Yeah, we're going to use this. Okay. So I'm going to go in and put this in the archive. And uh, we're going to go to here, and I'm going to put it in there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we have to go create a shot of... I want to make it look like a 1970s uh, sort of environment. So what I'm going to do is there's an image here. And you know what? I'm going to put you guys all on full, full screen. So give me a sec. Present, share screen, entire screen. Well, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to here. And we're going to go to open with paint. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this image, right? And first and foremost, we're going to crop it. Um, and we're going to crop it first to give it sort of that, that aspect ratio. I know it's a crappy image, but just go, just go with it. Just go with it. Crop. And we're going to remove this block um, because we're going to make this look like a TV from the, that time period. So I'm going to go in and just draw around it. Actually, you know what? Hang on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, let me just do this very slightly. I'm just going to remove this, right? Uh, I'm also going to kind of go in and uh, use an eraser. That's just going to fill up the rest of it. Very crude special effects here, guys. Very crude. This is how we're going to do a, an effect here. A really cool effect, actually. I know it's not the best looking, but just for a quick job for this little skit, it does the trick. Okay. If anything, I can just save two separate images, too, so. Uh, let's get a bit more out of this out of the way. There. So I'll just do for now, just for now to get rid of just some of the main elements. Now I'm going to fill it in with a green, like is it that crop. Now I'm going to save as picture. I'm going to just put this in my archives. And we're just going to put it under GS. And I'm just going to undo, 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 undo. Just do all that. Oh, too much. Now we're going to save as a JPEG picture. And we're just going to go uh, here and save it. There we go. Just replace the original. There we go. OK. So now we're going to go back. First, let me uh, remove this. To do now. I know. I know. I'm just. I'm just doing just a quick job. You'll see when it's all when it's all composited. Um, crude is good. Yep. Um, yeah, Microsoft Paint is a lot easier. So it's it's really it's really quick to do. Um, I'm just doing a quick little job here. So let's see here. Um, I have seen a few of the Godzilla ripoffs. I've seen uh, uh, what is it? Gorgo. Gorgo was actually a good one. And I did see uh, Polgasari, which actually, you know what? Okay, granted, the behind-the-scenes material was pretty bad. <laughs> um, it was pretty bad, uh, but it made out for a good movie. I can do it if you want. Uh, next time, Huey, I'll reach out to you next time if you want to do a couple shots for me. Uh, but let's go to... I mean, if you could do it now, even, like, if I send you the file, can you, like, quickly do it? It's, like, not the best at resolution, but if you can do it, you can do it. You know what? Hang on. I'm a gambler. Let's, uh, let me send this to you. Hang on. Let me, let me send this over to you, and maybe you can do something with it. Let's see. Where are you? Yeah. Let me, let's see what you can do with this. Let me send you the, uh, the image. Uh, hang on a sec. Let me send that to you. Uh, da -da. Da 
I'm gonna send it to you via Facebook. It's just this image just needs to crop out, just crop out the 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 thing there if you can. But there you go. Uh, good luck with that. Uh, so there's that. Okay, so sent it to you. Uh, but if you could do something with that, but I'll just do a test run with it of what I'm gonna be doing. So just in the meantime. So let me just go to there. Let me just go to here. Uh, all right. Yeah, have fun with that. Hopefully, hopefully that comes out okay. In the meantime, we're well, so we'll save that for later. Let's see what he comes up, up with that. The CEO Michael Eisner, who saw the original King Kong on TV. So what I'll do is I'll at least get the clip for that. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use like a sort of a grainy uh, resolution of it. So let me go to my files. Mm. Hi, Joe Elliott. Good to see you. Again, guys, super chats are always welcome. I never watched that show, Tyler. Uh, that was, I was too old for that. All right. So let's go here and let me find a shot. An old quality version of Kong that I can use here. Hmm. I'm find something very kind of VHS graining. Uh... The sixth anniversary specials, that's not a bad idea there. Uh, damn, do I not have... Oh, let me go to my clip sections. Not much, Matt. Uh, I got Huey helping me with a shot, which is pretty cool. Thank you so much, Matt. And I, again, I really appreciate that from Huey. He's going to help me out with a couple shots here. Uh, but let me find... Maybe this one? It's a Wiz commercial. Um, let's see what this is all about. Also, let me know if you guys can hear anything. Oh, that works. That works out right there. That looks pretty good because that's like kind of shitty quality. It gives it that 1970s look. It's from 1985, but it'll do the trick. Thoughts on the Luigi's Mansion? Uh, I've never played the game. That's a Brad question. Let's see. Yeah, something about the Wiz musical. They were they were like uh, premiering it uh, there, which is interesting. Let's see. No, we'll use we'll use these shots. These shots are pretty good. Let's go here. There we go. Uh Sweeney Todd, great Tim Burton film. Really like that one. Will there be a King Kong remake to celebrate the character's hundredth anniversary? That'd be interesting if they could do that. Who saw the original King Kong on TV? And with its all right, so let's um let's see here. Uh, let's do that there. Crop that a tad. There we go. It's just a crappy commercial for the Wiz, but it adds that crappy quality to it. There we go. The original King Kong on TV. God, have we only done 38 seconds? Oh, we gotta pick up the pace here, guys. Alright, thoughts on Dinosaur Project, um... Oh, I didn't like that one. I heard that was really bad. All the original King Kong on TV, and with its continuing cultural popularity, pitched the idea of a... Okay, so this is where we can actually... Um... Hmm. Let's see here. Skip these for now. Hmm. So Kong's popularity. I need a quick. I need something that kind of sums it up back in this. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go to Matthew Lamont's documentary because he's got stuff I can utilize. Ah, here we go. 
This this always helps getting certain clips. Let's see. Comics. Yeah, his documentary definitely does help with things. Let's see here. TV shows. Yeah, his documentary. Yeah, this. It's, if you have not seen Hail to the King, a king named Kong, that is like one of the best documentaries um, on the on the character. And uh, worth seeking out because there's so much information. He did update this. I'm using like one of his older prints, but it does the trick. So let me just go here and let me just see if I can find something from the 70s that works. Because uh, it's all the Toho era. So let's go to. Uh, was this the. Hang on, let's see here. Original 1960. Okay, well, 19. Oh, actually, you know, that kind of works. Yeah, this is one of the original posters. Like, this was the poster from uh, when they uh, re released the um, the uncut version at long last. So, um, but let's see. Let me try to find something here. Yeah, there's one that's like the Justice League. They fought like a giant gorilla. It wasn't Kong, but. Yeah, you got yeah. So we'll use, we'll use some of this stuff. This stuff works. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use this because this is not an actual episode. This was only made for the show's intro, but this will do for like pop culture reference. Um, so I'm gonna use that because that's a great clip. That never happened. That was never an episode, guys. It was never an episode, and that's what's disappointing. This the closest we probably got was Grape Ape. They had a Barbera cartoon, but this never happened, which really sucks. And with its continuing cultural popularity, pitch the, the idea of... All right, let's see here. And with its continuing... There we go. There we go. Um. Oh, yo! I know this guy who's uh, above Tyler. I can't pronounce your name. I am so sorry. Um, he has actually given me, um, some uh, tips and advice for this episode, uh, not to reveal it on the, ch on the chat, but, uh, if you can reach out to me on Instagram, uh, we'll have a talk because you've got some insight that would actually help me out with this uh, episode coming up. Um, no, it's, uh, from Scooby-Doo in the movies, which is one of my favorite seasons. That's where they cross over with Batman shit. Continuing cultural popularity. There we go. Now we got something here. Okay, so let me go back to my review that I use for clips. Giant blue Slimer on Empire State Building holding Jane. Okay, so there was a Ghostbusters episode that did Kong? I'm going to check that out. Real Ghostbusters. All right. I'm going to have to make a note about that. Okay, so where was that clip I had? Here we go. Oh, did Huey finish it up? Nope. Okay, that was just a friend of mine. Okay, but anyway, I just thought I got a notification. I thought he said, I thought he finished it. No worries. Okay. So let's go and to my episode. I have to go to where that origin started. Using clips for all older episodes, cheap but cost effective. Let's see. The eight to life for a new generation popularity of moviegoers. Let's see. Excited. He went to many of the major Yeah, this works. This works. Thank you, old me. Thank you. This helps. You did? Okay, well, I'll make a note about that. the idea of a remake to both universe. Okay, so this is where I, this is where it gets true. Okay, so here. There we go. Okay, this works. This works. This works. Um Yes, yeah, so friend of mine is just contacting there. Um, uh, 
pass, I guess. Uh, did you know there's a great white in the American Museum of Natural History that was the use for Bruce the Jaws poster and that also Tyrannosaurus specimen? Really interesting. Um, really interesting. Just had to answer a few business calls there, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, Huey, thank you so much. I'm going to grab that. Really appreciate that, man. Awesome job. Looks fantastic. Thank you. Really appreciate that, man. Uh, what is this? <laughs> okay, hang on. Uh, fr a friend of mine sent me a gift word because he's my uh, one of my affiliates. So I'm just uh, that's again. There we go. Okay, but thank you so much, Huey. That goes a long way in helping out with this. So bless your soul, man. Thank you. So now I can go back to this. Okay. Um, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't have to be the best quality, but it gets the job done. Really appreciate it, man. Look at that. Huey's on the on the case with, with shots. Good for him, guys. Go subscribe to his channel. Really appreciate that, man. Wow, you just... Look at that. You saw behind the scenes in sync with a live stream of uh, interacting and stuff. That's, that's awesome. Okay. There's the shot. There's the, there's the shot. Thank you, Huey. Here we go. Now, what we're going to do is I have to crop this. To go to that. Like that. Okay. And what we're going to do is I'm going to quickly, um, well, first of all, I have to chroma key it. This is the magic of special effects. Favorite Famicom game? Uh, Super Famicom, which I want to try, is Godzilla Kaiju Daikasin. But it, but I can't ever get a copy of it, which really bugs me. I'm just like, damn it! <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. The idea is to visualize. Oh look, Michael Eisner saw the movie on TV. Ain't that funny? There we go. We're gonna do. We're gonna go up. I'm just going to crop it in a way where it works. And I'm also going to swivel it because you can see the TV. So I can actually swivel the image to kind of make it how it looks on the screen here. And I can actually crop it to there. And then if I go to minus three and then just do this. Magic. Look at that. Look how much better that looks when you see it all put together. So now we're going to do the same thing. Effects, copy all. That is the magic of collaborative special effects, people. How awesome is that? Impressive! Least favorite director, M. Night Shyamalan of Ding Dong. Oh, fuck that guy. Never made a good movie in his life. Um... And also, uh, Paul W.S. Anderson. Not a fan of his stuff either. Didn't miss anything, man. We uh, just got a shot from Huey. He helped us uh, do this quick little image. I'm also going to warm it up. I'm going to color time this to make it look more 70s. 
So we're going to warm up the image. So we're going to go a bit more there. Yeah, that looks more 70s. That looks way more 70s. Do you have any clothes from the 20th, 19th century, 20s, or 30s? I do not. Unthinkable. Yeah, you guys are learning about special effects today, too. So you're learning how to crop shots, so you're getting a little tutorial. So look at that. Look how much better that looks. Like, And when you say it, when you play it back, in the 1960s, and most notably the spark started by former Disney CEO Michael Eisner, who saw the original King Kong on TV, and with its continuing cultural popularity, pitched the idea of a remake to both Universal... There we go. How many Kong shirts do I have? I've been through a bit of the ringer. I've been collecting them for a while. Um, one I actually just kind of gave away to... Um, actually, my, my, my girl wanted it, uh, my honey bear. Uh, the brown shirt that I wore, that's Kong 33, that um, I got... Uh, what is it? Um, oh, what is it? Uh, the, the, with 1933... I wore it in Ready Player One, and that was the last time I wore that shirt because there was a during the production of Ready Player One, it was not only just starting to wear off, but there was a huge tear on the side. And if you you don't notice it in the in the production, but I actually had to kind of duct tape it from the inside to keep it kind of stitched up. But by the end of shooting, it was so ragged, and my girl wanted it, so I gave it to her. But I have a lot of uh, original 33 shirts. I have a couple of universal shirts. Um, but they're good but they're good to wear for reviews. So there we go. Um, let's see. Thoughts on my made King Cog film uh of Cogs at Albino. That would be interesting. The Sixth Sense Unbreakable. Okay, Sixth Sense I will give a pass to. Um, Unbreakable I'll give a pass to. I didn't see the other two, so I'm not sure. I can't really have, say an opinion. Hated the last Airbender, and and old was disgusting. Um, now those were not good movies. Here we go. Okay, so now we have head of Paramount Studios. Let's see. It was Paramount who had. There we go. So I want to kind of get that going. the idea of a remake to both Universal, Paramount, and the original. I uh, actually want to get rid of that con Actually, no, I'm going to keep that con I'm going to save that for later. What about the happening? What? No. That's so bad it's good. I'll give it an excuse for that. Both Universal, Paramount. There we go. Where's the RKO logo? Let's see here. Hmm. Try to find RKO's logo, which I know I have here. A remake came from. That's excited. He went to many in a movie door. Oh, uh, here we go. RKO. There we go. That helps. There we go. Universal, Paramount, and the original film's holders at RKO. At the same time, Dino De Laurentiis... There we go. Okay, so we're just gonna slightly crop it. Okay, I'll come back and crop this stuff later. ...film's holders at RKO. At the same time, Dino De Laurentiis was also tinkering with a... Shit! Okay. Hmm. Let's see. You know what? I'm actually going to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go... I have to actually crop a bit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to... I have a, a good documentary with uh, Dino De Laurentiis that I'm going to render. So just give me a sec. Uh, I'm going to go back. Uh, let me go to my archives, behind the scenes, and I'm just going to take, I think I have some De Laurentiis stuff I can work with here. Now we're going to use this documentary on Dina De Laurentiis, which I always like to pull from. Uh, 
But while we're doing that, I'm going to take a quick little break. I just got to get a quick little, uh, like, little bathroom break in me. Um, but just hold the line, folks. So just give me a sec while we render. I'm going to be right back. And uh, we're going to take a quick little break here because, yeah, I just have to take a quick little bathroom break. So let me just uh, get something on here to share on the screen. Share screen. And we'll use number five. Yep. I'm just going to allow that so you guys can see that. I'm going to... And we're back. So, uh, yeah, just had to get a chocolate bar here. So, um, yeah, I just had to do that. But a uh, fun fact about that audio, if you guys don't know, if you guys have not seen my confrontation episode, um, that is actually the audio from the parking lot at Universal Orlando um, that is used in the King Kong parking lot. And it's actually sort of one of the few remaining remnants of 
the uh, the confrontation ride. So I, I actually, the way I did that, so a little behind the scenes note, when I went to Universal at the parking lot, um, I was I discovered this audio, and what I did was I put my camera mic and I mounted it over to the speakers to get the best quality possible of that audio, and I just grabbed the whole track. I found a very quiet place to do it where there wasn't much noise, but that is the actual audio from the parking lot. So it's one of the last few remaining elements of the ride. So anyway, I uh, just had to get a chocolate bar and went to the bathroom. Uh, Hershey's, uh, pretty much the confrontation chocolate bar. was It was cookies and cream, which is interesting. I wonder if they still have any left over. I might go grab another one. Oh, we're going to chocolate bars. Anyway, so let's get back to work. Um, I'm just getting an email here. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just, um... Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, I'll check those out in a sec. But, with that said, kind of thoughts on the Titan Evolution Godzilla from Playmates? The one that breathes fire? I kind of want that toy. I'm not going to lie. Um... After Earth is bad. All those are pretty bad. Not fam, sham along. I have not seen that yet, actually. Mm. What happened to RKO? So RKO tried to revive itself uh, during the production of Mighty Joe Young, and they kind of failed. So ultimately, uh, they were bought out by Ted Turner, and then when Ted Turner kind of defunct, they were bought out by Warner Brothers. So that's what happened to RKO. Anyway, let's get back to work. Mm-hmm. Glass wasn't that good. All right. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, we're still rendering. Almost there, guys. Um, not a fan of Avatar myself. I'm not like I never got into it either. Honestly, I'm gonna be real. I did see the some of the Quiet on the Set documentary, along with um, a few other video essays. I'm kind of glad I was always a Cartoon Network fan and non-Nickelodeon fan. I don't like their Nicktoons. That's all I like. Uh, so let's... Um, yeah, we're just waiting for this thing to open up. Um... The one where you take off a rubber skin of Godzilla. Oh, I heard it's pretty. That's a pretty bad toy. Infamously bad. Um, not my biggest. Um, not my biggest fan of that, honestly. Um, I would because it's very much a um, prototype and um, did the things that Jackson was almost gonna do. Actually, he was gonna do a day on the ape suit in '96, but. I think for Rick Baker, it's a way to kind of finally fulfill that dream of doing the proper Kong suit, I think was what his intentions was. Yeah, he's the Harvey Weinstein for children's entertainment, basically. <laughs> Good lord. Is this thing finished rendering yet? My god. It's taking a while. I have a big documentary, actually, I have to rip from. Um... But yeah, guys, I really appreciate you guys coming in. You guys actually make the streams very entertaining. Um, huge shout out to, uh, so far, uh, one of our first Super Chats, uh, Super Michael. Um, really appreciate that, man. That was from a while ago. But I really appreciate that kind of stuff. Really helps support the channel. And, of course, our Patreons and so on. Mm. I'm probably going to game stream tomorrow, hopefully. Um, and... Um, Probably gonna like game something pretty easy. I actually just reorganize my entire game system. It's a huge plus. Right. So I got I got a bit of chocolate in me. I got a bit of, I don't know why. Ever since Easter, I've been craving chocolate. Alright. What is taking this thing so damn long? My god. 
Hope everybody's good in the chat. Thoughts on the mist? Not a big fan of that one. I haven't played that, but I have Destroy All Monsters Melee. In fact, I've thought about playing that tomorrow. I have it on GameCube. Probably pull that out. You guys want me to play Godzilla Unleashed tomorrow? Let me know what game you want me to play tomorrow. Uh, I mean, I know the Star Wars stuff I want to save for May. Jaws Unleashed might be a good one to play, too, actually. I haven't played that one in a while. It's between a couple. Um, yeah, so I've also thought about doing... You know what I should do? Okay. What do you guys would get more attention? Destroy All Monsters Melee. Uh, Jaws Unleashed. Uh, uh, Primal Rage. Uh, maybe even Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Something like that. Or... This is ridiculous. Universal Studios Theme Park Adventure. Which one between those ones? Godzilla's already got two. Okay, now we got our stuff. Okay. So let me go down. This is that Dino De Laurentiis documentary, which I have. It's a really good one by the BBC. So I gotta find sort of the area where Kong was around, which was... Like way down, actually. It's called the last. It's called Dino De Laurentiis' The Last Movie Mogul. It's actually a really good documentary to seek out. Uh, there's a lot. He, it goes through like entire his pretty much his entire filmography. Okay, so destroy all monsters melee. It is tomorrow. I'll probably just do that. That'll gain some views. Don't know how good I'm gonna be, but we'll try it out. That's what's gonna happen. Okay. These are some of his movies, actually. So just gonna find a good part of them that's like really fun. He's like the king. The king. You know, everybody comes to him. Everybody knows him. Um, I wanna find a really good, a really good visual of him. Some of him like walking or yeah, here, like something like this, you know? Like I think that was him with his wife or something. Now, from what I heard, like, Dino was pretty intimidating, but overall, he was, like, a relatively nice guy. Like, he was, uh, from what I heard, a relatively nice, like, his, um, he, he was pretty quiet and anonymous, but he was, he was a great guy. Yeah, he was, again, just from what I heard, really nice guy in real life. Three, four times a year. But he just, like, he kept his, like, you know, his social life pretty private. There we go. Top five De Laurentiis movies. It's Kong, King Kong Lives, Orca... Uh, Conan. I really like Conan. Uh, I'm just trying to think of some other films that I like that he did. He did a few ones. He was sort of like the Jerry Bruckheimer of his time. Um, he really was a genius. He was a really nice guy. Filmcore just made a video in which he made his own Jurassic Park fan game. I'll have to check that out, actually. Thoughts on Destroy All Monsters? Um, everything's good, except all the human shit. It's kind of boring, I'm not gonna lie. It's a very boring, boring film. But once you get to that monster fight, it's great. Right, so I'm just gonna crop this, so he looks a bit more presentable. There we go. Cropping is key, folks. Uh, at the same time, Dino De Laurentiis was also tinkering with the concept of a remake. Uh, you know what I actually want to use? I want to use a better image of Dino. Uh, let me go to the top where he's I think he's watching one of his films. Yeah, I like I like the I like this image here. I like that one. That's one of my that's one of my favorite images actually of Dino. 
Actually, I'm going to keep what we got here. That's why I actually like that him in the car. Flash Gordon's a good one. I love Flash yeah. Gordon. At the same time, Dino De Laurentiis was also tinkering with the concept of a remake after seeing a poster of the original on his daughter. Okay, so this is where it gets kind of interesting. So, I know there's a movie. I can't remember which movie. It was some movie from the 80s. I have to go to James's Monster Madness 80s-a-thon to kind of look into it. I can't remember, but there, isn't there like one kid in one movie where he had a Kong poster? I'm just trying to remember which movie that was. It was one that James had talked about. Anybody in the comments know which one? It was like one of those like 80s monster movies. Um, Let's see here. Let's go to... Do I have it under movies? I think... I don't know if it's under Monster. Oh, it is under Monster Madness. Okay. Let's just go to my 80s a thon. Let me just try to remember which movie it was. I just have to figure it. Let me just skim through it. Uh, let's see here. Oh, man. There, I got it. I got it. I got it. So it's um, it's this movie called uh, what is it? The Deadly Spawn. Yeah, it was the Deadly Spawn that had the Kong poster. So I have to go find an image from that. Um, because I don't have the movie. I don't think. Let me check. I don't know if I have the movie. Let me see if it's is it on YouTube. It is not on YouTube, I don't think. No, it's not. Shit, shit pickles. Okay. So what I have to do is I have to go to just use an image, which is totally fine. Um, let me just see here. The deadly spawn. This should be like a poster of King Kong in, in the background. And I just wish, I know there's like an Easter egg of it. Worst case scenario, I just use uh, uh, some stuff from Monster Madness because that does help. Yeah, I'm not seeing an image of it. Okay, so I have to go use uh, Deadly Spawn. So I have to basically take that from the film. So let me just go to... All right. I got this, guys. I got this. Okay, so I have to go to 80s a -thon. Um... I've never seen any of the Dune films. I know a lot of people said I should. Um, I, at some point, will. I just don't know when. Okay, so this is where we got to be careful. So let me just try to find... Yeah, here we go. Deadly Spawn. Okay, so it's this stuff. It's from this movie. So what I have to do... There's the image I need. That's the, right there is the image I need. So I have to just cut to framing here. That's the image. That's the image I want to use. That is a nice image. Now, let me just see here. Let me actually go back to that documentary. I think there was something on Kong that he mentioned seeing it on his daughter's bedroom. Let's see. Uh, here. Let me go back a bit. Which movie was this? I can't remember. For years, he seemed to have the Midas touch. He just went from hip to hip to... It was right here. Just trying to find which one it was. Let's see here. De Laurentiis then embarked on his first fully fledged American blockbuster, a remake of King Kong. This is weird because this is like from a print that doesn't have the logo at the bottom. And showed the world that De Laurentiis could take on Hollywood at its own game. Let's see. And you know what? The bigger market is it all. And that's okay. I didn't just do a, a appealing worldwide love story, you know, a tragic love story. There's a great interview here with uh, Lorenzo Simple Jr. too, which is cool. Oh, here we go. Let's see here. I think it should be somewhere here. We did uh, 
nice, good movie. No good like the original because you never be like the original, you know. But it was very successful all around the world with a plot of money. Yeah, I'm just trying to, again, I'm just trying to find if there was ever Somebody an image. Said, here's what the world wants. I mean, go find it and try, try to give it to them. This was Dino as showman, everything he dreamed about himself. Yeah, okay, so we're just going to use this from the movie. Let's see here. Inc. After seeing a poster of the original on his daughter's wall. Yeah, that works. That works pretty good. That works well. So we're just going to use that. Only 52 seconds. And how many hours have we been working on this? His daughter's wall. With the clusterfuck of ideas pitched and studios involved, this, of course, led to the infamous... Okay, so this is where we got to kind of get a little creative with shots. I have to go back to the Legend of King Kong documentary. Here I go. Um, here we go. I'm just going to use that. That cuts our time a little bit. Over an hour, wow, and we're only 53 seconds in. With the clusterfuck of ideas pitched and studios involved, this, of course, led to the infamous court battle for the remake rights between Paramount's written contract and... Let's see, here we go. Battle for the remake rights. There we go. I'm just going to remove that. Mm -hmm. It was Paramount who had a signed... There we go. Oh, I'll put Deadly Spawn in the credits for sure. It's between Paramount's written contract. Paramount's written contract. There we go. Well, Universal had a verbal... Again, this just saves me so much time if I just like kind of crop all this and just use previous episode footage. It really does. Let's see. There we go. Act in Universal's verbal contract. There we go. Now we're a minute in. There we go. It just took what two hours for a minute. Good lord, we're gonna be here for a while. And in Universal's verbal contract with RKO leading the race between the two separate remakes with. All right. Act with RKO leading the race between the two separate remakes. There we go. Thanks. With Universal's Legend of King Kong and... D okay, this is where it's going to get pretty interesting. You know what? I'm going to use an image again from Matt's documentary. That's going to help me out. Also, what's cool about this episode... Oh, actually, here, I can use this. Actually, this is good here. Well. Let's see. Yeah, this should do, actually. Um, I've got a, I got, I got a couple of images here I can use. Um... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use the old poster, too. So hang on a sec. Um, hmm. Okay. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna go back. And 
And I'm gonna go to I know what we're gonna do, guys. So can I use this? Um, no, I want to save that image actually. Um, I want to kind of make a, a quick, like, little fixed image here. So we're just going to fix this. Um, so I'm going to put here, I'm going to keep that image, and then I'm going to take the title. So I have to make a quick little fake poster here that's going to kind of match. So let me just go to, um, hmm. Uh, Again, guys, sorry if it's a little, I know editing's a tad boring at times, but I hope you guys are being entertained with me just like going through all this shit. It's really fun. Uh, I want the Legend of King Kong. Which, do I have that in my archives here? I do. Thank goodness. There, and I'm just going to take that. I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to crop it. I'm going to go to here. And I'm just going to remove the rotation. And we're just going to bring it here. Down to about there. That, that works out okay. And we're also going to move that. And we're just going to go and uh, put that there. We're just going to make it look a little bit more luminous to about there. That works. Now, this is where the magic happens. We're going to take this and make this an image. So we're going to do that. So, boom, we have a poster. Now we're going to remove it. Um, I don't know who that is, Bollywood movies. Um, I like what you've done. Okay, I like what you've done to your room. Okay, I can't... Is that a line from Deadly Spawn? Alright, so now we're going to go to here. What's your ideal third entry to Kong 76? I mean, the plan was, from what I heard that De Laurentiis was going to do, he wasn't going to do a movie. I mean, like, this was after King Kong Lives, the movie flopped. But had, it, had he done a sequel, I'm not sure what he would have done. But I do know this, that he was uh, planning to actually, at one point, he was convinced around, like, the, I'd say the late 80s to potentially buy Filmation, which was starting to go into bankruptcy. And event he didn't. But the plan was, if had he had bought Filmation, which is the animation company behind He-Man, he was actually going to get them to make a Kong animated series that was going to focus on Kong's son. This never happened. But it would have been interesting if it did. So we're just going to fix that. Easy fix. So put those pinholes. And yeah, that, that'll do it. And now we have a quick little fan poster. Um, but yeah, he was planning to do a... Um, a uh, 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 cartoon show at one point, but that never came to pass. Um, I don't know about that. I don't know what those are. There we go. With Universal's Legend of King Kong, it... Okay, so now we're going to crop this. We're going to zoom in on it. So 
actually going to bring it out. It would have made a great, uh, riff, yeah, it would, have, it would have been a cool riffing material. I'm more curious how, why, I wish they could have done The Legend of King Kong. That would have been something, had they been able to pull that off. Now, I want to go to... That would be interesting if they did that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go 1976. Uh, not a fan of Peppa Twatting Pig. Not a fan of that at all. Okay, so we hit a bit of a snag here, folks. I'm surprised there's no, like, poster with the subtitle for this. Yeah, I'm surprised there's no uh, version of the film that's called King Kong: The Legend Reborn because that was that was the original uh, title for the '70s remake, and that never happened. Um, although we used it as our tagline for our remake. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, there is no poster that has that subtitle, so we're going to have to make one. No worries, I got this. I can make this work. I can make this work. Let me just first look up the title font. Uh, do, do, do. The title font is... Cooper Black? Oh, wow, it's Cooper Black. Okay. Legendary Beer sounds like a legacy sequel. It's more of like, it was more De Laurenti's jab at the Legend of King Kong title. So what I'm going to do is see uh, with this poster. We're going to take this poster and we're going to add at the bottom of it, the Legend is Reborn. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to Paint. Uh... Uh, just give me a sec. I'm just going to add it into this thing. First of all, I'm actually going to crop this. And we're going to do that. Okay. Now we have it. Okay. So let me just uh, go add this because I'm in paint right now. So just give me a sec. Uh, here. Uh... Is it the legend reborn or the legend is reborn? I think it was the legend reborn. I think that was the name of the, that was the title. We're going to go to Cooper Black because that's actually going to help uh, make it look more efficient. Let's go. I think I have Cooper Black as a font. I do. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah, okay, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this, okay. But what I want to do is actually kind of match the color font. Let's see if I can edit colors. Can I add custom color? Hang on. I want to add a, I want to add a custom color. Oh, let me, you bastards. Okay, well, that'll do for now. And that's pretty good. So I'm going to go and go to File. I'm going to save as. I'm going to save as a picture. We're going to put it in here. Okay. So that's good. Now, I just had to, I had to make kind of a fake poster of this. Where's my super suit? Why do you need to know? 
Okay. Stegoceratops. It's a cool design. I wish it was in the actual movies, but they didn't do it. They're more focused on the human characters in that hybrid story than they were anything else. There we go. Now we got it. Now we got her. Now look at that. You can see it right at the bottom. King Kong and Dino's King Kong, with the subtitle of The Legend is Reborn as a jab at Universal. Now, I'm actually going to crop it. I'm going to zoom out. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to zoom in. That's pretty good. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to go right there. I'm just going to kind of slightly mess around with it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, when you see it all put together, there it is. Now, look how much, look how good that looks. Look how good that looks of of a what if scenario. I actually thought about like doing a re edit of the film and actually calling it that. The Legend is Reborn cut. There we go. With Universal's Legend of King Kong and Dino's King Kong, with the subtitle of The Legend is Reborn as a jab at Universal. I've already talked. There we go. Now that looks pretty tight. Legend of King Kong and Dino's King Kong, with the subtitle of The Legend is Reborn as a jab at Universal. I've already talked about this canned first attempt by Universal. Okay. Ooh, I, I want to use a clip from the movie to kind of sum up, uh, you know what? <laughs> I got an idea. Oh, it was, it's so funny. Um, I'm going to use a bet from the movie. Um, actually, I'll save that one for later, but I have, a, I'm going to use, um, um, oh, what is that? Um, I want to use that line that, uh, Fred says to Jack where he's like, you lying hippie, you're from another oil company. Lion hippie, you're from another oil company. I, I don't know why. I just love that. I think that's so funny. You lion hippie. <laughs> um, and yes, I actually did manage to get a copy of the uh, extended TV cut, uh, HD, and it looks great. You know what? Actually, Luke, I like that one a little bit more. Let's go with that one. Good, good call, Luke. Good idea. Sue me. I like that one. All right, you know what? That's a, that's a you got charts. Ah, come on, Jack. The, don't don't come on. Who, who'd you pay off in Washington? Crooked son of a bitch. <laughs> um, yeah, I got the one by Scream Factory. I got a digital version of the movie. Let's see here, uh, right here. Sue me. Yeah, I like that one a little more. You know what? Good call, Luke. Good call. Very good call. And I'm also gonna. I'm also, you know what I want to do? I want to add. <laughs> I want to add. I want to add Delorente's head or something to and put Universal there. Actually, I'll put Paris. No, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Sue me. Yeah, that's that's a good one. I like that. You know, I like that. I like that a little more. That's really funny. Sue me. I, I like taking that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to do another Photoshop image here. I wonder what his idea was. It Was it Dino's to call it The Legend Reborn, or was it Paramount's? Whoever it was, it's like, that was a huge sting at, at Universal. Okay, vote. Paramount or Dino's head on Jeff Bridges? Vote in the comments. While I'll do that, I'll add the Universal logo onto Fred Wilson. Uh, 
Uh, let's see, I want Universal. Uh, studios. Both? What? No, no, you know what I'll do? I should put RKO where Jessica Lang is. <laughs> or actually, no, I don't know. Like, let's see. Let's, let's see what we can do here. Um, well, I'm not going to use the Viacom version. I want to just get... Um, let me find the Universal logo. Do I not have Universal as a logo? Oh, that's interesting. It's a JPEG. Dino? Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Um, do I have an image of Dino I can use? Oh, God, that'd be really funny. I'll put Paramount. No, I'll put Paramount where Jessica Lang is. That's actually kind of funny. All right, let's see. Directors. Do I have an image of Dino that I could use here? Um, oh, wow, I don't have a Dino image. Wow. Or hang on, hang on. Do I have it under Kong, maybe? Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Wow, I don't have a Dino image. Okay, we're going to have to fix that. And I don't have a Universal uh, PNG. Paramount for Jack, Universal for Fred, RKO for Dwan. Okay, I think Luke's got this one down. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Universal so PNG. I want to find a really good one, like a really funny one. Um... Let's see. That one's okay. Um, I kind of like that one. We'll just use the modern one. It'll do for now. Uh, let me go to put this in my files. Studios. Universal. Let me get Paramount. Yeah, good, good call, Luke. That's really funny. And I'm going to get RKO. Yeah, that'll, that'll do perfect. All right, we got this. We got this. Uh... Yeah, I think I think I think uh, Luke's got this down. God, hours and hours just for a crappy joke, <laughs> but I don't care. It's fun. It's really fun. So, first person to get the get the kick is uh, we're gonna put Universal in first. Or no, we're gonna put Paramount in first. Paramount actually has to go first. And the PNGs are awful, but that's okay. We'll make it work. It's got to be in layers, so you got to put Paramount first. Let's go into 3D images. So there, we're going to go here. We're going to go to the start of the frames. So let's go here. We're going to rotate. I'm going to bring it down. Here we go. We're just going to put it over his head. There we go. So that's kind of, that's actually really funny. That is really funny. And now I'm going to basically go in and let me just see. Let's see. You know what? Should we do white or just, no, let's go a bit more brighter on him. So we're just going to do that. And we're going to go to camera. And we're going to zoom out. So we're going to just, we just have to do some animation here. So this is where I have to do some crazy animation. So we're going to go and he's going to back it up to about there. 
this is not there, and we're just going to go there. All right, so I'm just going to kind of back them up a little bit. There. I'm going to bring them to the side. Animation, and then he's going to back it up all the way to the end of the frame. And we're going to go there. And we're going to back them up a little bit. I'm bring them to about, let's go to about 12 frames. Let's see. Ah, that's okay. That looks pretty good. And there, we're going to back them up. Ah, maybe a little bit more. Let's go a bit more back. Let's go to about maybe 16, minus 16. Yeah, that works. That works. That looks pretty good. It's just like, sue me. Ha <laughs> ha, like that. Actually, you know, let's, uh, that's a little too far. Let's go to minus, let's go, uh, let's go to about 14. Let's see how that looks. Let me, and then back it up to that. It needs to be a little bit more. Uh, let's go to, let's go about 10. That's a little too much. That's too on the other side. See, animation is key when you're doing stuff like this. That's it. That's the frame. That's it. 70s remake of King Kong was very underrated. Also, Jack, the first two recent Kong reviews. Great job, dude. Thank you so much, Dean. Really appreciate it. Guys, go subscribe to Dean and like post films. I could really use the help. All right, so there's that. Now let's get Universal up in this shit. Actually, no, let's get RKO first. RKO is going to go where Jessica Lang's head is. So we're first going to go and go into 2D, 3D. Well, first I'm going to key, I'm going to key him out. Well, first I should brighten up the image. Let's, um, let's bring the image up because for some reason, yeah, it did not, it didn't like PNG, right? Which is interesting. Let's brighten that up. Uh, we're just going to use a green screen technique because that actually does help. Okay. That makes it a lot better. Now, we're going to go and uh, we're going to go here. Same technique. And just kind of place RKO right by Jessica Lang's head. Which I think is really funny. And we're also gonna we're also gonna break it out a little bit to about let's see if we can uh, let's do about six maybe let's do seven eight that's fine now I just gotta do animation on it so we have to kind of match that. So I gotta go to here. I gotta go to uh, chroma key here or there. So there. Now it's gonna be like first. Let me just uh, put that there. Actually, you know what? Let's bring it out a little bit. There we go. Okay. So now what's gonna happen is is that that's gonna come up to about there. But let's uh, start at the beginning of the frame. Let's go a bit to the side like that. I'm just going to bring her head up and we're going to keep it centered to about two. Or actually we're going to kind of bring it to there like that. It's very slight. And now Watch she's back up. No, actually, that match is pretty, that's pretty automatic. That's pretty good, actually. There we go. There we go. Look at that. That looks pretty good. That looks really good. So you can see, that actually looks pretty solid. So now we're going to go to Universal. Big Jack Films, what do you, uh, Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor? I don't watch Doctor Who uh, Bollywood movies, unfortunately. Jim Henson Concept Company recently revealed their work on progress on the second Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Really? There was enough of an interest to do a, a second one? All right. 
Um, wow. Okay. All right. So, yeah, you see, it is funny. And now I'm going to take universal. This is where it gets tricky. The first thing we're going to do is actually uh, flip the image because we have to have it where Fred's facing, where the logo is actually facing from the back. But that's tricky when you're when you've got like only a one flat image and you don't have access to the 3D image. So we're going to flip the universal logo where it's facing that way. But what we're going to do is first and foremost, again, we're going to we're going to saturate it a little bit to make it like a bit more where the cropping's a lot better. I'm going to do that. Oh, it actually looks really nice. It's a really good vibrant color there. Now we're going to do this. Now look at that. Look how good that looks. And now we're going to go ahead and just slightly crop it. Yeah, it looks pretty solid. I don't know if I want to do the rotation. Let's just do basic universal. But we're just going to... Yeah, that, that. Uh, that looks pretty good. I want to get it maybe a bit bigger. To where his head, the head of Universal is going to be kind of, you don't see the Universal thing. So we're just going to go to, um, so I want to get it where kind of it's above, so you can kind of get an idea. Or you know what, you know what, we'll just we'll just go back and unflip it. At first, I thought I could get his head, but you know what? we're just going to do this. Okay, that works a little better. Okay, so we're just going to go back. We're just going to bring it to where it was, because that was fine. There we go. We're also going to crop this out. And we're going to bring it up to his head. To about there. Go here. Like that. And let's see. Let's actually kind of there and bring it back up. To there, uh, maybe a bit lower. Yeah, that does it. And we're going to go back to the cropping because I have to kind of fix the logo a little bit. Uh, I'm going to pull it back. There we go. Now we got a better image. Now, the only thing is I have to fix is the animation here. So we're going to go to pan and zoom. It's just a digital zoom. Uh, let's see. Noise reduction. There we go. That. And now we just have to essentially have it where his head's going to be on the side. Oh, okay, so we might have to fix that, actually. Hey, let me go back to the image. Let's go to about... Let's just take the whole image of Universal. There we go. That works. That works. That works. Okay. Now we're going to go here. And the only problem is, is that we gotta make sure that we don't crop it too much. So we gotta kind of bring it back to where it was, which is there. And we're just gonna go a bit more back to about, let's go about seven. And that looks pretty good. There we go. There we go. Now, how funny is that? I know, it's the only one I could find with a PNG, Huey. Um, it was the only one we could find with the PNG, so this will just have to do for now. Let's see. Sorry. Sue me. Now look at that. How funny is that? There we go. Now if we play it all back. With Universal's Legend of King Kong and Dino's King Kong, with the subtitle of The Legend is Reborn as a jab at Universal. Sue me. Now that, see, now that's funny. Now, that's really funny. I mean, if you got it as a PNG, Huey, please send. And I could just, like, copy-paste the, the image, the, the animation. Well, what's funny is, is that it's just a bit, because basically that big jab is just like, sue me. Um, send it to me. Send it to me, Huey. That'd be great if you can. Send it via Messenger or whatever. That'll, that'll do fine. But come on, that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> sue me. Actually, it kind of looks like Jack's cry. He's like, yeah, sue me. Hey. Oh, oh, hang on. I think Huey sent it. Thank you once again. All right, let's see here. 
What the frick? Um, is this a PNG? It's PNG, right? Okay, it is a PNG. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we got this. So I need 19... Oh. Oh, okay. I see what you do. I see. Okay, you just have to, have to color it in. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Here's what he sent us. I, honestly, he was pretty good at this, like sending us the right stuff. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh, this will be easy. This will be so easy. Hang on. Let's first color, copy, paste, effects, copy all. Okay, we got this. Okay. So here's what I got to do. Um, I have to fix here. So let's just go up. I don't know why it's not showing. That's a bit of an issue. But let's see if we can fix that. Okay, so there's it's an issue with the black. Okay, so maybe if you know what, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me go to there. Let me just delete this for now. I think I see. Okay. I think I see what the problem is. There we go. Now we can see the image. Okay. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we have to really crop it. We have to use this logo right here-ish. What I should do is crop bottom. And then I'm going to crop the top. Bit more. Then we're gonna go left. Make the black blue. Okay, that works. That works. Thank you. All right, now I'm gonna go to do that image, that 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 sort of thing one more time. But we're gonna do no present. We're gonna bring it up here. That bring it up. Thank you so much, Osiris. Yes, please. Super chats are always appreciated. I'm just gonna move it there. Up a bit more. Yeah, Huey, this really helps. I appreciate it. There. Now, what we have to do is color it. So if I go to basic color correction, I'm first going to brighten it up. And we're also going to give it a bit more of a blue. Like that. Oh. The only issue is that it's a little hard to see. Let me see if I can fix that. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out here, man. Hang on. There it is. Okay. And there. Oh, oh too much. That'll do it. That will do it. Now let's bring it up to about here ish. Now let's see how that looks. Yeah, that works. Oh, the only thing is that okay, that okay, so we fucked up a little bit. That's okay, we can fix it. We can fix it. Just gotta go here and boom. Now that's too much. Okay, so now I have to... What I'm going to do is bring the zoom. Go up. No, first of all, I'm going to crop all this and bring it up and up and up. 
That might fix it. Okay, so the only issue is just fixing that image. So I have to kind of slightly fix the zoom, the animation here. So first I'm going to go back to default. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Bring it a bit here. Bring it down a bit more. The animation's kind of like a little hard to do here, but that's okay. We can fix this. There. And now... Well, I want to kind of keep them stable until the camera pulls back. So we want to kind of go there. We're going to go here. We're going to go here. And we're going to go here. And we're also going to kind of slightly bring it towards them. There. And what was it? It was like a 10 or something. Let's go to about... Yeah. It's like that. It's going to go like that, and then the camera's going to pull them back. Uh, kind of. That's okay. I think I think that'll do. That'll do just fine. Now, and it's like, sue me! I like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. But the subtitle of The Legend is Reborn as a jab at Universal. Sue me. We just spent a half hour doing an animation, people! Yay! Look at that. Okay. Thank you, Huey, for helping us with that. Uh, we're doing good, Geek Universe. Thank you so much for coming in. Really appreciate it. Global textures. Yeah, like, this is fun. Getting in You guys really help out with these projects. So now we have to do the tricky part here. I've already talked about this canned first attempt by Universal, and needless to say, the project got pretty far. All right. There. I've already talked about this canned... I've already talked about this... Now I gotta go here, now I gotta go here. Alright. And let me tell you, there's a lot of back. There we go. About this canned first attempt by Universal and. Okay, so I want to add some stuff behind the scenes stuff from this production. Not just the legal matters. Let's see. So, in a logical way, while they're not happy. Okay. But would later be replaced by a Parasaurolophus. Yeah, so in the swamp scene, for those who don't know, that was actually supposed to be a Parasaurolophus, and they ended up not uh, doing that, but we did it in our remake, which is pretty cool. And needless to say, the project got pretty far and stop motion armor. Oh, hang on, hang on. Um, uh, let's see. The Tyrannosaurus Rex battle was another cute. Let's see. Like using the storyboards too, which is really nice. Have some of the storyboards from the film. So, and needless to say, the project got pretty far. And R and stop motion armature designs from animation master Jim. There we go. Okay. I think I have somewhere here of Ninja Jim. Let's see here. It's demise. Other. And the Skull Island Walls. 
fellow Tetheria, which is... Yeah, and sorry it's taking me a hot minute, folks. Brings back the classic scene that was deleted from the... Was to be replaced by... I'm also going to crop some of these, too. Heard about the adult cartoon Fish Police. It was produced by Hanna-Barbera. Is that the one with, like, I know Harvey Birdman, where they had, like, Hanna-Barbera characters, like, going to court and shit, but I've never heard of that one. Interesting. And stop motion armature designs. I'm just gonna use this, actually. And stop motion armature designs from animation master Jim Danforth, as seen in his volume two audio biography, to a full. All right. So now what we're gonna do is this is what's gonna be interesting. I'm going to actually speed up this. That was too much. There we go. It aired in 92. Wow, I didn't know that. You know what? Ask uh, Brad of Obscure Media TV. That'd be an interesting sort of lost media thing. I, I think he'd be quite curious about that. And stop motion armature designs from animation master Jim Danforth, as seen in his volume two audio biography. To Actually, you know what? I don't like that. Let me fix that. I'm going to fix that. And stop motion armature designs. For there we go. From animation master Jim Danforth. in his volume two audio biography to a full book of the film and okay this is where it's gonna get interesting doing good landum uh how you doing i've just been uh we're working on the last episode here which is pretty cool all right where is to a full book of the film and storyboard. Do, 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 do. 
So yeah, for anybody who, was, who doesn't know, there was actually, believe it or not, a book of storyboards from the canceled production that was sold on eBay for $200. Now it's like super hard to get. Like, like it was only a once in a lifetime thing. I remember seeing it on eBay and I really wanted it and I never got a chance to grab it. And I was so pissed because apparently now it's owned by some collectors. Uh, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec, guys. One moment. Uh, anyway, so back to business. Uh, yeah, so they had sold it on eBay and it's in a private collector's hands and I've never been able to get it since. eBay auction a few years ago. Oh, and even directing and casting deals with Jaws 4's Joseph Sup. There we go. With Jaws 4's Joseph Sargent set to direct. There we go. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. I'm also going to slightly crop this. A little too stretched for my take. Back in the old days, I actually used to like sh like stretch out images to fit. I didn't know anything really fully about proper cropping, but now I kind of do. There we go. That looks a lot better. With Joss Four's Joseph Sargent set to direct, and Peter Folk, Robert Redford. And here, we, okay, this is where it gets interesting. Hmm. Now I just need to get the proper bits here. You know what? I'm actually going to use image from my fan trailer. That's a good place to go. So let me go grab that. I love how I made my Legend of King Kong. I want to do another one on the Eighth Wonder, but I gotta find a day to do that and really take time on that. Um, I don't know. It's kind of uh, unknown at this point. Uh uh land on um it's gonna take a while to get this one done to be honest if i'm just gonna be 100 percent honest it's gonna take a little bit if you didn't get the reference then who the hell are you uh you know what else is all you can get on ebay some teeny beady babies with the tag or some some guy you've never met in Norway. Is that a thing reference? I'm not sure if that's a thing reference. Okay. Also, don't forget, guys, super chats are always welcome. Also, low key, I'm going to end the stream around six o'clock because I do have to be um out and about uh on some stuff uh today so again guys uh it was a it's a weird dollar reference yeah i i really i didn't know that okay here we go hey peter folk what here we go. Hey, Peter Folk, Robert Redford. Robert Redford. Here we go. Um... Oh. and Susan Blakely as candidates. 
Evet. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was. I did this fan trailer a while ago. Um, it was fun to do. I mean, Sean actually did a great Peter Rodriguez impression, uh, which was really good. Likely as candidates for Carl Denham, Jack Driscoll, and yeah, this was a fun trailer to do actually. Star. Yeah, like I was, I took, uh, was it, this is from like Muppets Take Manhattan, and I matched it with a movie that Susan Blakely was in, and it worked like way too well, actually, which makes it like kind of funny. Like it actually made it kind of work, to be honest. Steve Martin, ooh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Jack Driscoll and Andy. There we go. Let's just, let's just go a bit more. There we go. Crop that. Um, how did you get the Sumi clipped? And how did the Sumi clip? Oh, here, let me uh, show you, Luke, because it was your idea. Let me go back a bit. All right, let me go back a bit here. Hang on. Let me show you how it came out. And get a full idea of what it looks like. Ready? With Universal's Legend of King Kong and Dino's King Kong, with the subtitle of The Legend is Reborn as a jab at Universal. Sumi. And that's how it came out. There you go, Luke. I hope you enjoyed that. I know, it looks really good. I've already talked about this canned first attempt by Universal, and needless to say, the project got pretty far. And stop motion armature designs from animation master Jim D. I'm also going to crop that. It's going to look a lot better. Oh, the eBay song! I, I forgot about that one. Designs from animation master Jim Danforth, as seen in his Volume 2 audio biography, to a full book of the film and storyboard sold on an eBay auction a few years ago, and even directing and casting deals with Joss Force's Joseph Sargent, set to direct, and Peter Folk, Robert Redford, and Susan Blakely as candidates for Carl Denham, Jack Driscoll, and Dan Darrow. Even Bob Burns, among other... Okay, so this is where we're going to get a little minor spoilers, people, so just brace yourself. There's some minor new spoilers in when I talk about the Legend of King Kong here, okay? So I'm just going to give you guys a heads up about that. In fact, there's some images here I should actually use. There's some minor spoilers here. So, you know, what? I'm actually going to go back a tad. I'm going to keep the storyboard stuff. That's okay, but there's some images here I want to use. Um, That's David Allen. All right, there we go. So I'm going to use this. The, this Im these images are pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, I like that image a little bit more. We're also going to crop that. I want to add some new material to this too. master Jim Danforth, as seen in his Volume 2 audio biography, to a full book of the film and storyboard sold on an eBay auction a few years ago, and even directing and casting deals with Joss Force's Joseph Sargent, set to direct, and Peter Folk, Robert Redford, and Susan Blakely as candidates for Carl Denham, Jack Driscoll, and Dan Darrow. Even Bob... Okay, so this is where it gets a little... a little, uh, new territory, guys. So just praise to yourself. So we already have these images, right? But there's some new material that has just come out, too, that I have surprisingly handy. So I want to find... And as pre-production... There we go. To do a screen test. There we go. Even Bob Burns, among other scale doubles... 
we're brought in to do screen test. Um, actually, you know what? Let's save that for later. Let's use this. Uh, these are okay. So these are new images, people that have just surfaced from. So this was Bob Burns actually on the Legend of King Kong doing a test in the suit. These are kind of not too common photos right here. So what you're getting is, that ex is some exclusive images right here. Burns, among other scale doubles. So you're getting some really good photos here that have never really fully been brought to the attention. So we're just going to put a crop on that. There we go. And Darrow, even Bob Burns, among other scale double. Yeah, this image, this is a new image for the production is right here. So I'm just going to crop this. This is a brand new image. So they had a, like a little guy too in the suit. So they were doing different types of tests back in 1975. So I'm just going to kind of bring it up and up and up and up and up about there. Yeah. But you know what? I'm actually going to zoom out on this image. Go about here. Go about maybe. Yeah, these were tests they were doing at the time. These are like legit new photos. I've never been seen on our channel before. Pretty damn cool. There we go. Doubles were brought in to do screen tests, screen tests, and a few. Oh, I actually did that twice. Shit. Continue. See, sometimes when you're assembling, you sometimes do it twice. You screen, you screen test, screen test. Sometimes you say it twice. You don't want a Jacob 2-2 two -two scenario. There we go. That fixes it. I Yeah, he's still alive, actually, surprisingly enough. Brought in to do screen test and a few prototype Kong suits. Here we go. Now, there we go. All right, we're at a minute 50. That's pretty good. Doing pretty good, guys. Scale doubles were brought in to do screen tests and a few prototype Kong suits. Even some of the props were being... There we go. Like this. Okay, so this is pretty cool. This is also a new image. This uh, gas grenade. Even some of the props were being made, like this never-before-seen manufactured redo of the iconic gas bomb. Yeah. Even some of the props were being... Yeah, so this is a prototype gas grenade prototype uh, gas bomb that was going to be used in the movie. were being made, like this never-before-seen manufactured redo of the iconic gas bombs, which in the storyboards would have been... Now, there's storyboards of this that I have somewhere. I have it probably in my archives. Hang on, let me check. I know I have them somewhere. Uh, let me go to Kong. Hmm... I go to reviews, maybe? Uh, no, I want reviews. Uh, I 
have some of these somewhere. Hold up. Uh, season three. Uh, ha-ha! Shit! Uh, no. Damn. Okay, I know they're here somewhere. Huh. Oh, fuck. Uh, no. Hmm. Okay, archives do not show it there. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to have to check my archives. One moment. You have any jobs other than YouTube? No, this is my full time work, honestly. This is what it comes down to. This is my full time. Okay. There's some stuff here I can use. Okay. Thankfully. They still... Okay, here we go. I am very happy with this. Okay. Thankfully, there's a forum I can grab these things. Just bear with me, folks. Hmm. Yeah, thankfully, this stuff is still here. Which is like a huge plus. At least I think there is. So bear with me, folks. One moment. Okay, let me just scroll through here. I'm listening to all the stones of ember fates. Nice. Um, I wish my film work was my full time. I mean, the thing is with YouTube as a job, people ask me this, like, how did you end up getting it? Well, the thing is for me, it's, um, basically, uh, I had actually had started by just, really continuously putting out my work and without getting paid. And it wasn't until I hit a certain amount that I was able to actually do something about it with, with, um, with, uh, as a job and it worked out pretty well. So that's what you kind of have to do. Sometimes you have to really push yourself. You can't just, you know, uh, keep, uh, you know, you just got to wait for it really. Okay, we're getting somewhere here, people. I'm just recollecting some of the stuff. Have you ever met other prop collectors? I mean, about one or two. Um, like in some areas here and there. But most of the time, it's just kind of meh. When I meet them, like, we just talk about our collections and what I have, what they have, and so on. So, yeah. I know there were storyboards here at one point. I have to dig through here for a sec. Ooh, I have to actually need that. I do need that image. Uh, ha! Here we go! Ha-ha! Ha! I'm looking for these. God, they still exist. It's a website right now. I'm just gathering these uh, files at the moment. Just bear with me, guys. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I need all these. I need all these images. Let's see. Thank you. Yep, 
Yeah, like, so it's weird, because I think I lost some of the, the old files that I had, so... Oh, shoot, there's another one! Hang on! Whoa! Whoa! This is new! This is a new one! Alright! Alright! Alright, there's some new images here! Okay, we got some new stuff! Hold on! What the fuck is this? Okay, I don't know what that is, but I'll take that. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Wow. Those are some new images right there. Cool! i uh, never been to Ohio. Never been. Let's see. What is this? It's Chris Mueller's work. Oh, wow. Working on calm. Well, it doesn't exist. So that stinks. Uh, that is what is this? Oh, it's a oh wow. There's two copies of the script. Okay, well I'm gonna save that. Thank you. I am going to save that. I would download it. Can I download it? Display ongoing. Sorry, I'm just, like, gathering some, like, uh, files here that I can use. Tools, save, print. Let's see, let's just save. Yeah, I'm gonna save that. That's brand new. Um, let's see. Uh, where is this categorized in? Uh, somebody messaged me. just quickly figure this out here because I'm in some sort of archive here. Uh, movie stuff. Unfinished Universal Script. Okay, well, it's just that. Con oh, okay. Okay, so there's some stuff here I can work with. Okay, we'll worry about this later. Let me just save that. Um, um, let me just do this... Uh, let me save it. Okay, let me save this. Bookmark this website. Okay. Okay. There's some stuff here I can work with. I'm just checking all this shit. Okay. 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 I've got enough to work with here. Okay, I'll come back to this guy. Okay. Anyway. Anywho. Is that all of it? I think there's one more page. Sorry, I'm just taking a second. I just have to grab some extra stuff here. Okay, well, I won't worry about it right now. But let me just make sure. Okay, so I've got enough to work with here. Um... Okay. Uh, I've been with my girl, Honey Bear, for um, for eight months, actually, eight to nine months, and we've been getting along really well. I'm actually really miss her a lot today. I really miss her today. She's been at work today, and wish she was in stream, you know? So, okay. All right, so we got that. So let's try and find, where did I put this shit? First of all, let me put all these uh, into files that I need. Open with. Again, so sorry that took a sec. Hot sec, guys. We'll put that in here. Yeah. And delete that. And I gotta take a hot minute and kind of fix some stuff here. 
uh, JPEG picture, uh, save, delete that, open with paint, files, ads. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's one image I need here. Uh, that's the one. Okay, that's the shot. That no, I don't want no. File save as JPEG. Go, I'm gonna delete that. And I'm gonna open with paint. I got I just gotta fix some images here and re reformat uh, them. But a crude fashion. Meg 2 was really good. To a degree. I can't say why. I mean, like, it was it was bad. I mean, it was kind of a bad movie, but it was kind of a guilty pleasure bad movie, to be honest. Uh. Oh. I'll save as... Uh, I think I'll save one more. I just have to save a few images here, guys. Hang on a sec. That. We're gonna do this. Paint files. I, I just have to put a lot of JPEGs in. Last one here. Hey man, I gotta go. My folks are in town. I won't be a, a back for a while. No worries, man. No worries. You uh, you enjoy yourself. Glad to see so many people in the chat again. So sorry. I'm hope you guys are having good good conversation uh, over there. Okay. Now I just gotta move this stuff. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Um, any advice for people who want to become a collector? Just be on the lookout. Like, watch, watch listings like a hawk. And if you find a good deal, buy it. Ever get bad storms where you live? We do, actually. I've gotten an F1 tornado at times. Uh, I had one at my old house, actually. Okay, now we're cooking. Look at this. These are brand new images, folks. So we got some new stuff here. Iconic gas bombs. Wait. We got some new images here, folks. Yeah, we got some. we got some storyboards from The Legend of King Kong right here. Now we're cooking. Now we are cooking. All right. Um, the switch and the storyboards would have been loaded into a grounded grenade launcher. There we go. Now we got something here. Now we're cooking. We're two minutes in. Okay. There we go, and we're going to put this down here. Do 
we go. Um, hey, Electric Dino, good to see ya. All right, here we go. Now we're cooking. We're two minutes in. Okay, we're doing pretty good. On a gas bombs, which in the storyboards would have been loaded into a grounded grenade launcher. But outside... There we go. There we go. That works out. Okay. Grenade launcher. But outside of that, production eventually fell off after the court settled. Okay. So this is where we get it. This is where it gets interesting. Um, you know what? Production fell off. You know what? I'm going to use this for the storyboard for this. That actually makes, makes it funny. But outside of that, production eventually fell off. Yeah, I like that. I like that idea. Um, I've never watched Ben 10. It's kind of past my time. Yeah, what you're seeing is actual storyboards from what was planned on The Legend of King Kong. I really wish somebody would up, like scan and upload these images because these are fascinating. A pretty much a lot because they spent a lot of time and money on it. Launcher, but outside of that, production eventually fell off after the court settled a few legal ultimatums by the. Yeah, that works out. There we go. That works. Okay. Just trying to see if there's any other things here from images. Uh. after the court settled a few legal ultimatums by the winter of 1975. Yeah. So I'll make sure I got everything here. All that remained publicly of the production was this teaser poster. There we go. And it looks like they were almost about ready to do a brontosaurus until being replaced with the Parasaurolophus, which is interesting. That's kind of fascinating, actually, that there's all these images that still exist. Oh, wow, the skull and wall, too, may almost made it. Wow. These are pretty cool images, to be honest. Yeah, they got pretty far, to be honest. That's pretty incredible. These are some new images I just found that I'm going to put incorporate. Wow. Off after the court settled a few legal ultimatums by the winter of 1975. Hey, Xandra Productions is here. Good to see you, man. How you doing? It's all that remained publicly of. All right, so now I need the teaser poster. There we go. It's 
All that remained publicly of the production was this teaser poster from newspaper and magazines at the time. A prime lesson to... There we go. So, there we go. Now we're just going to, um, yeah, okay, we got this, we got this, we got this. Actually, I'm going to zoom out. There we go. Five. All that remained publicly of the production was this teaser poster from newspaper and magazines at the time. A prime lesson to never create a poster and... Okay, we're getting somewhere, guys. Off cook food, how huh? I the review. The review's going good. We're uh, two minutes and 13 minutes in out of 43. How's this? Oh, these will do. I'm trying to find like a poster that would have worked. Hmm. Um. Yeah, there we go. There we go. This will do. Yeah, 43 minutes, honestly. Um, I will never get used to how De Laurent Dino's name of the director of costumes is pronounced Dino, and I assume it said D Dino. That'd be funny. That is kind of funny. Time. A prime lesson to never create a poster until you're knee-deep into production. Um there we go. I'm looking... Okay, so this is where we have to get a little, this is where it's going to get a little tricky. Oh, that's too much. That's way too much. Okay. So there's that. Got any new images from The Legend of King Kong, or was it something else? No, there's some new images I have. I actually just found some new, uh, here's some new production designs, like some of the Brontosaurus and Kong that they were planning. And then there's some storyboards, obviously, that we're showing off here. There's um, a lot of storyboards and props. So there's a lot of this is going to be shown off in the video. Fucking teaser for God's sakes. I'm gonna so come back to that later. Had a fucking teaser trailer for Christ. That's a lot of wow. You guys had a fucking teaser for God's sakes. You guys had a fucking teaser trailer for Christ. 
All right, there we go. Let's let's go there. That's a lot of that. Okay, there we go. At the same time, Dino De Laurentiis was knee deep in pre-production on. Okay, here we go. Now, thankfully, I also have storyboards and stuff from Kong 76 that I can show here. Now. Let's see here. Now we can go into a little bit of pre-production here, um, which I think I have some storyboards and shit. Yeah, I have a few things I can show here. Um, need deep into pre-production. What is this one? This is a story. Yeah, that's a storyboard. Um, yeah, this is where I got to pull out a lot of shit. So here we go. Um, dang, I just recently watched Apple TV Monarch. It was pretty good. Yeah, I heard it was a really good show, actually. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we got some stuff here we can work with. Just trying to find some of the articles and stuff that were being reported at the time. Uh, hmm. Yeah, these are some of the storyboards, too. So I'm just trying to find um, where they would be at here. Um, yeah, these are all storyboards. Looking at you, Alien 3. At the same time, Dino De Laurentiis was knee-deep in pre-production on his Kong, assembling his cast, and revising the script with Lorenzo... Okay. This is where we can use some storyboards, which is pretty cool. Dino De Laurentiis was knee deep in pre production on his Kong, assembling his cast and revising the script with Lorenzo. Guys, uh, yeah, my girl was my girl was just DMing me, so I'm just checking in on her. But uh, yeah, um, the tease at the end, man. I want a season two. Yeah, I want a season two. You on Skull Island? I've heard Skull Island's gonna be the central focus, and I hope to God it is. My goodness. All right, so I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna bring this up to here. These are yeah, these are actually storyboards from the 76 remake which is pretty cool i actually managed to grab a few of these yeah i'm streaming you caught the tail end here man uh we're gonna probably stream till like 6 6 30 ish so yeah because i have to actually run out uh afterwards i have to go uh do a couple of errands before i head to florida or north carolina in about a week's time ish You think COG-76 should have won, been nominated for Best Picture? I know De Laurentiis pushed for it, but they never were able to get that going. 
I don't think it really deserved Best Picture. It's a great movie. just didn't deserve Best Picture. Hey, honey bear, you made it. Good to see you. We're going to go until 6.30, okay? So um, you've got a chance to watch me stream. Guys, go say hi to Nikita. My girl, love her so much. Really wish she was here today. Um, but she was working today. She works so hard. She's got a great job. Kudos to her. She's amazing. Guys, guys, flutter with comments. Talk to her. She's amazing. Love you to death, honey bear. Thanks. At the same time, Dino De Laurentiis was knee-deep in pre-production on his Kong, assembling his cast and revising the script. Oh, okay. So now this is where we can actually... Again, I'm just going to try to basically get some of this covered. Um... I yeah, will just use some of these storyboards. And on his Kong, assembling his cast and revising the script with. There we go. Yeah, you can see this is the you want to eat me and go ahead piece in the storyboards. So, yeah, it's good to see you, honey bear. I'm glad you're doing okay. Hope work was good. So, yeah, just we've been editing. We got about, uh, what is it, in this whole two hours, Honey Bear? I'm not kidding. Check this out. Hang on. This is so fun. You're going to laugh. You're going to laugh. It's so it's so funny. Um, out of the 43, 44 minutes, Honey Bear, we only got like two and a half minutes done in the last few hours. That's how, that's how slow this process is. <laughs> It's so funny. Oh, my God. Oh, I wish it was faster. Oh, Lord. Let's see. All right. It's just so funny that we just only got two and a half minutes out of a how long of a stream have we been going for? About two and a half hours. So it's so it's a uh, half hour every 30 seconds. <laughs> I know I'm just I'm working away. It just takes a lot of focus. And it's just like because there's so many things to be had in this. Oh, my God. Really appreciate you coming in, honey bear. I missed you today. Yeah, I think process is name. I know. Right, Andrew. I know. Right. It's insanity. At the same time, Dino De Laurentiis was knee-deep in pre-production on his Kong, assembling his cast, and revising the script with Lorenzo Simple Jr. in order to beat Universal. Like, it's insane how how hard these things are. Like, oh my god. See, look at that. There is an audience for you, honey bear. They want you in more videos. Get in here. <laughs> And revising the script with Lorenzo Simple Jr. in order. All right, there we go. Let's continue. I'm going to go back to. I have a shot of Lorenzo Simple Jr. Go back a bit. See, do I have? Oh, that's a good shot, of Dino, right there. Actually, and um, De Laurentiis spent twenty-four. I'm gonna probably use that shot. Um, let's see here. Thanks for what's cool about the jelly versus uh, details. Seventy-six storyboards. Yeah, I just wish they were released. I wish somebody could all uh, digitally scan the whole damn thing and put it out there because, god damn it, I want this stuff. The stuff was a gold mine. All right, so I have to find an image here I can use. Lorenzo, I know I have this documentary in here somewhere. Oh, there's an idea I have that might end up uh, eat up more editing time. Have co-hosting on editing. That would be fun to have like co-hosting or like somebody to answer the streams. 
like to answer questions like super chats and stuff like that'd be a good way for me to focus because you know going back and forth on the chat it can be a tad distracting but it's sort of like like Kara streams where he has somebody do that like maybe one time i'll get honey bear on she can actually just monitor the chat and just ask questions and stuff so that'd be fun actually that'd be great No, she's still here. All right. So I need. You know, motivation and making time aside from all of these things, we really wanted to make and thought he could make the uh, biggest motion picture success of all time. Now, this is this is where I actually want to utilize some of Lorenzo's uh, uh, stuff in the documentaries. Let me just scroll up here and just see if I can find. Uh, something of him that's not if he's on anything else. Um, let me just see here. Is he anywhere else on this doc? I don't know if he's anywhere else on here. I don't think he is. Wow. Wait, hang on. In 1979. There we go. Naturally, this being America and you being Italian, that leads people. There we go. Okay, here we go. Hey, wow, Super Chat, hold up, hold the phone, people. Here we go, Super Chat, $10 from Gerald Lang. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Guys, guys, at this point, go subscribe to him. A little something towards your next season. Just got the new 76 Kong Steelbook today. Collecting 76 film in all formats that are made. That's a good idea. I have to get the Steelbook Blu-ray. I have to get the last few. But, um, oh, man. Thank you so much, Gerald. Really appreciate that. God, second Super Chat today. Oh, we are on a roll. Mm-hmm. That really helps, man. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Woo! Yeah! Okay. Moving on. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate that. I definitely want to get the steel book at some point. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, that helps so much. My God. Actually, do I have Lorenzo? A picture of Lorenzo doing Kong? Hang on. I should really get more, like, music in the background for these, but they have to be, like, uh, you know, public, sort of, like, uh, you know, non-copyrighted music. Man, that's great. We got some really good stuff in there. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Super Chats are just, are just the best. I should say the best. All right, so, you know, I'm going to have... You know what? I like this image of Lorenzo, actually. This one will do. I like that one. That one's nice. I'm just thinking if there's any other uh, images of him when he wrote the script. Like, I have the script, actually, believe it or not, too. Um, I know Paramount just came out with their own 4K of the film, but since I already have Studio Canal 4K, it's worth getting the Paramount release. I mean, get them all! Why not all of them? Get them all. Gotta catch them all. How does Super Chat work? Uh, does the money go to PayPal? No, it actually goes into your ad revenue. That's what I've learned. It goes into the ad revenue uh, on uh, on YouTube. So, yeah. God, again, guys, really appreciate the Super Chats and stuff coming in. That really helps us out with production. Okay, so let me uh, take this shot of... Lorenzo, and let me put that into a JPEG so that actually helps. Uh, there. Yep. And we can get rid of that. Don't put that in. So I want to put Lorenzo right about here. Say revising the script with Lorenzo's simple. And I'm also gonna thank you so much. I was at I was at work, so I missed the majority. I mean, she's gonna catch it. She'll catch up with it later, Honey Bear, because this this is you know you love my streams. I know how much you love them. Um, 
All right, so now I'm just going to do this. Oh, I kind of like that. It gives it a creative punch. Actually, no, let's, let's go a little bit. You know what? I like that. That's a little better. I'm also going to add a, a, a copy of the script. Let's see. So, assembling his cast. I like adding this as sort of the background image. Continue. Now I'm just going to get a, a, a version. Of, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. No. Bad pinnacle. No, no, you're my honey bear. That the 18 is my honey bear in, in fiction. But you are you are the real one, honey bear. I love you so much. Um Yeah, it's just it, it goes to ad revenue. Um that's how super chats essentially work. Um is I'm sorry, is my super chats is the um the chat delayed? Interesting. Uh okay. Six. Let me go to the script. Wherever I had it. Damn. Did I not? Where's the script? Weird. Hang on. Okay, I had the Bull Goldman script. Where's the. Hang on. Hmm. I don't know, wonder. I wonder if I kept it in. Hang on. Hold on a sec. I think I kept it. You know what? I know where I might have put it. <gasps> yeah, I know where it is. Caillou sucks. I know. <laughs> Caillou throws a fit. Caillou was having a very bad day because he wasn't going to the circus. <laughs> Me and Honey Bear have been memeing Caillou like fucking crazy, but it's been so goddamn funny. Like, it's it's hilarious. <laughs> Fuck that kid. Oh my god. Well, that's behind the scenes. Final cut editing, pre-production, production, trailers. And... Where the fuck is all my Kong files? That's going to bug the hell out of me. Fan films. Remakes. Okay, I've got that. But where the fuck? The Ride, King's Gauntlet, uh, Tiny Toons, Valentine's, Topo, Watermelon. Right, rip off season three, season seven, in seventy six. Yeah, what the fuck? Attack of the Tin fan films. Uh, I swear I had some stuff here that I was able to use. Um, she has not. Um, new steel book is sharp, clear sleeve. Uh, how's the print of the film though? And what's on the, what's on the, uh, bonus features? That's what I want to know. What is on, on, uh, on it? Exactly. Uh, no, it wouldn't be in season four. Oh my God. What happened to these files I had? Oh, you know what? Hang on. Hang on, they have to be in here. They have to be somewhere in here. Ads. Uh, Chopper, Big Kong, Hand, Rambaldi, Star from Suit, Wall, Model. Oh, what the fuck? Toho. I, you know, it's weird because I think I lost some like files, guys, and this is kind of upsetting me. Um, that's strange. Very, very strange. Trips, trailers, logs. That's strange. I'm going to have to go back at some point and find that stuff. Ooh, maybe. Maybe. Shit. Oh, 
Come on, it's gotta be something here. I'll take more pictures. It's gotta be something. Come on. Oh, hang on. Maybe. Come on, give me something here. Give me something. Ads, costumes. Oh, fuck. Man, I lost a lot of shit. No, because I had a hard drive that um that really like got got like through like got uh fucked up back in 2020. So I think I lost it. I'm like, damn it. Hopefully you mean yeah, I mean, who knows? Um let's see here. I'm just reading all the chats. Damn, we got a lot of ch chats. Yeah, we got I I have lost a few uh things here, which I'm really upset with. Anything sound mixing? Reviews? Hang on. Could it be in here? Oh. Because, yeah, I had like a whole series of files that I guess I've lost. And that really sucks. Uh, Pictures. Would it be here? No, it wouldn't be in here, would it? No. Yeah, I guess they got lost through uh, all the shit. That sucks. Because I had a whole documented uh, library of all my Kong stuff. And there was some stuff that I guess got lost uh, through some things. So that, that stinks. I'll try one more, one more thing here. But I doubt it's in here. You know what? Actually, let me just... Um, let me take this in. I wonder if it's in one of these. Hang on. I have to check the special features when I get home. All right, yeah, yeah, definitely do. Uh, let me know what's on there if it's just the same as the other ones. Okay. Steelbook has Berkeley's and the poster on the front back inside the car. Interesting. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Hang on. We might have something. We might have something. Hang on. Uh, that is that. That's from Jurassic Park. Uh... No, it's just fan shit. Fuck. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. We can fix this. Yeah, I just, I was digging through. I couldn't find any files that were, like, it's weird because I lost a few files, guys. So I have to go search for them again because they were on a drive that just died. Damn, that sucks. That really stinks. That's okay. We can fix this. We can fix this. You remind me of uh, Will Ferrell from Land of the Lost. That's an underrated movie, honestly, Land of the Lost. Uh, the one with Will Ferrell. I thought it was really funny. It's not the TV show. It was really funny. Okay. Let's fix this thing. Sorry that took so long, folks. Uh, blame Figment and deleted stuff. Yeah, damn Figment, he deleted all the shit. You bastard. That little bugger. Fuck. That little son of a bitch. All right. BRB, honey bear, go make your dinner. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we did with this. Effect, copy all. There we go. 
We're just going to move it over here. And we're also going to crop it. And we're also going to rotate it. I'm going to bring it down. I'm also going to color time it. Again, I'm so sorry if this if this stream has also been kind of boring. Because again, like post production can be very, very boring because it's just sitting here doing editing. That's all it is. Okay, there we go. That fixes it. I want to kind of make this also fancy too. This episode. So I'm just gonna crop that and we're gonna add that. There we go his cast and revising the script with Lorenzo Simple Jr. in order to beat Universal and finalize the deals after the courts. Okay. So there were some storyboards that I want to kind of match up. Um... I kind of want to show what the storyboards were going to look like in terms of um, comparison. With the Legend of King Kong. Yeah, we're going to go until 6.30. And then I and then I actually do have to run because there's some stuff I I gotta do soon. No, that's the thing. Like I gotta actually leave around seven seven thirty, so I have to get like dressed and everything. So, um, that's gotta be kind of important. The natives then kidnap Anna. See, some of these storyboards are actually kind of, this is the only way to kind of see them. So I have to kind of be mindful of that. You know, unless there is one way. Hang on a sec. There might be a way here. Actually, script, the script, storyboards, script. Hey, hang on. We might have something here, folks. Okay, I'm going to save that. That's a really good image I need. We might have a miracle. We might be just in luck. All right, let's see here. Okay, we're in luck. We have, thankfully, I had saved some of these storyboards on Facebook. Facebook is such a safe haven for backup. Thank God. There are some, there is hope. There is hope. Thank God I saved these. That scared the hell out of me. Because I was scared we had lost some of these. 
uh, storyboards. Because I was thinking, oh god, no, no, I need those storyboards. Okay, I, I like, uh, that's a nice poster, actually. I'm going to save that. That's a nice artwork. That's the Bob Burns test photos. Uh, what's that? I'm so happy we found some of these, actually. I'm just on Facebook, guys. Just give me a sec. I just have to go through some of these. Thank God. Thank God I saved these. Ish. But I wonder if those... I wonder if those uh, native storyboards, if I still have those. That's what I'm wondering about. Because there were some storyboards that um didn't make it, but... Let me just check. Too late. He took all of them. And hang on, San Diego. Uh. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take that. That's one I need. That's one I definitely need. Wow. Okay. So. Hang on a sec. Oh, oh, okay. We're okay. We might be okay. We might be okay. We might be okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. All right. We got something here. I'm saving that. That's a good one. Oh my God. Thank God. Now, is there any of the, uh, Storyboards that are missing here. Oh, shit. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I am saving that. I'm so happy that I, I posted these when I did on some of the Facebook groups because some of these were have been lost, so I have them as sort of a backup, which is like, really good to have on standby. Facebook is your... See, Facebook sometimes, folks, can be your best friend. To a degree. Now, what I wonder is... Where is... Please someone tell me that there is some other storyboards here that I have handy. I should really be showing you what I'm doing here right now, but I kind of am just so preoccupied with what, what, what I'm working on. I'm just trying to grab these images. Um, but give me a sec. Just give me one moment. Okay, I'm saving that. Oh, shit. Hmm. Maybe under, ooh, I wonder if it will be under, under, hang on. Oh, come on, come on, come on, give me something here. Again, I'm just, I am just literally looking up stuff online. Because <laughs> I'm just like, there's got to be, I had to have saved some. Also, my neck's a little twisted here. All 
Are any of these storyboards... Okay, so in the background, it's uh, Legend of King Kong. In the foreground, it is uh, the De Laurenti storyboards. S! Yes! Okay! Okay. Good call. Good call. Okay. I have some stuff here. Thank God. I would have been so cheesed. Okay, thank God I saved these on here. I am so happy right now. You're not it's I'm not even joking. I am so happy I saved these. Okay. We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. <laughs> oh man, Fa thank you Facebook. Now, if I can Okay, I'm saving that. I'm saving that. Oh, this got to be something here. It's got to give me something. Give me something. That, that, that. Oh my god, come on. Again, uh, you're not seeing what I'm doing. It's just me uh, quickly grabbing some stuff offline that I uh, have, have, I thought I lost in a drive. But thankfully, on Facebook, I uploaded them to a couple of groups. So they're saved as, back, as backup. They are saved as 100% backup. They're not going to be the best quality, but honestly, like, it's better than nothing. So I just got to find uh, one last file here. Um, I just got to find. There's a... Uh... Okay, so it's not there. Shit. But I want to find this uh, piece of art that I'm looking for. Um, yeah, this is from 2016. That's when the storyboards went up. And unfortunately... Oh, I'm just... It's funny. I'm looking on eBay. Somebody... <laughs> this is funny. Somebody apparently uploaded... Um... Uh, image, uh, storyboards from Dragon Ball Evolution, which is hilarious. That's actually really funny. Okay, so I cannot find these images, which really sucks. There was a whole storyboard from The Legend of King Kong that had, um, essentially, uh, what is it, um, storyboards of the sacrifice scene. I want to put those in the backdrop, see if I can find the original pages. The original pages are kind of lost to time. So because of that, I have to use images from my episode, which is totally fine. That's a total backup plan. It's all good. Okay, so let's get back to business. We got a couple more minutes. But yeah, we're going to have to give up on that for now. So this is what's going to have to... We're going to have to just deal with this for right now. So what I'm going to do is... I have to go to those storyboards that I had, I had uh, downloaded or uploaded, uh, which should be over here. Okay. So this is what's going to have, this is going to have to do for now. So just to show you how in close in comparison the, um, the uh, storyboards were with the Legend of King Kong. So this is from the 76 remake. Okay, so this is where it gets a little crazy. What we're going to do is we're actually going to make a comparison here. So we're going to put this one as a comparison. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm actually going to do that Titanic trick I did. But first things first, let me just uh, let me just move these images together. Um, this is going to get a little tricky. So let me... Uh, Zoom out. Let me just do a crop. Yeah, this is this is where it's gonna get kind of interesting, guys. You're gonna you're gonna kind of like this because the storyboards are so similar between the two. It's kind of like they both. It's almost like they hired the same guy, which is interesting. 
So there we go. So now that tight. So if you guys remember that Titanic trick I did, so I'm going to go back to my uh, edited file for Congo five. I'm going to save this. So I'm about, I'm a, I'm actually about to blow your mind. Like this is going to kind of scare you in terms of uh, similarity, similarities, if it'll work. Okay. So I have to go find the Titanic bit. If we go back to when I did the, uh, the uh, Titanic comparisons, right? Yeah, here. So we're going to go, I'm going to, first of all, clean, close that. And I have to go to the track here because I got to copy paste these two images, right? This is good. This is insane, all right? So I just have to copy paste these two images. So I just go in. It's a little slow right now. Just bear with me. Okay. This is where we go a little nuts. I'm going to copy paste. And then we're going to go to file. We're going to go to open. We're going to go to... Uh, 76. Now we're going to go over here and I'm just going to, I'm just going to go a little empty area. I'm going to load these up. It's going to be a little affected to the timeline, but that's okay. Now watch this. I'm here. We're all here, guys. This is where it gets a little crazy. Now, there's that image, and then there's this image. I'm shocked that I did not see this. Now, if we look at these two images, right? Look how similar these storyboards are. First and foremost, I'm actually going to zoom this out. I'm going to crop this a little bit. This is how similar these two storyboards are. I'm actually kind of shocked nobody's ever pointed this out. I'm just going to back it up a tad. Make it a little smaller in comparison. Let's go a bit higher. That. I'm going to bring this back. Yeah, another comparison. So these are two separate storyboards. This, okay, so just to show you guys what I'm talking about. This is kind of nuts. We're going to back these up to about, there we go. We're gonna go down. Just gotta break it down so you guys can see the storyboards, right? This is kind of crazy how close both 76 and The Legend of King Kong were gonna be. It got pretty damn close. Just go up a little bit. I'm going to go back. Actually, I'm going to bring it forward a little bit. Let's go to about... Let's do 53.5. There we go. Okay. So just to show comparisons, I'm just going to point this out right now. This here, where my mouse is, I don't know if you guys can see, this is the storyboards for Kong 76. These were the storyboards for The Legend of King Kong, which was the production happening at the exact same time. Look how close they were in similarities. That is insane. 
Like, that is genuinely insane. How close they were in comparison. We're getting a Disney series based on King of Skull Island and everything done recently. I kind of don't want it to happen now. I mean, it is what it is, man. You can't really stop it, I guess I'll say. But, um, yeah, let's see what happens. I want to try to make it a bit more clear when you see the storyboards. Okay. Let's I pitch it down a bit. Hey, honey bear, good to see you back. Yeah, so you can see how com close these two were in like comparisons. Now, the only thing is I don't have any storyboards. Let's see if there's any storyboards from Kong 76 available. Actually, I wonder if, I doubt they'll be here. Counter attract, what the fuck? Oh, there were storyboards for the King Kong encounter? Interesting. I'll save those for later. Um, but there was, there had to have been, like, in terms of the sacrifice. There had to have, there was, like, something, I'm pretty sure. There were storyboards for that available online. Um, hmm. I wonder if, ooh, I wonder if they'd be able to help us. That website, yeah. Yeah, okay, they might be able to help us. Let's go to bookmarks. All right, let's see. Soundtrack release, collectibles, art, illustrations. Oh, those are just art. That's fan art. Links. Facebook group. Original Kong website. Wikizilia. Flashbacks. Um, movie stuff. Script. Lobby cards. Press news. Art for art. Magazines. Articles. Books. Souvenir. Promotional stills. Costumes. Video collectibles. Jim B. Whiskey. Uh, sh collectibles. I swear there was. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to have to figure that out later. But to the point, you can see the comparisons, how close they were. So that's that's pretty crazy how close they were. Actually, I wonder if, hold on. Let's see you check face to, to Facebook. Ha ha! Yes! I stand corrected. Ha! I'm glad I grabbed those. Thank you so much, Honey Bear. Really appreciate you coming in today. Ha ha! Oh, I'm gonna have to come back and collect some of these because I am so happy that I found these. Oh, I've got plenty to work with. Plenty to work with. Okay. We good. We good. We freaking good. I thought ahead of time. Yes. There is stuff to work with here. There is so much to work with here. I am so goddamn happy that I that I kept that I uploaded these to Facebook. So happy. So happy I thought I had a time. Okay, we good. We good. We good. Very happy right now. I'm just going to save all... I'm going to hoard all of these storyboards. I am so happy I thought I had a time. Thank you. Very happy with this. I know. I'm sorry. I keep repeating myself. I'm just. I'm just really glad I. 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 I grabbed these ahead of time. 
I'm very happy with these. I'm glad I upload these. They're not going to be the best quality, but they get the job done. Okay, we're good. We are good. I could fix this. I could totally fix this. Facebook is the new archive. Yes, it is, honey bear. Yes, it freaking is. Thank God. Thank God. I saved the... Oh, my God. Thank... Oh. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy I saved these, honey bear. You have no idea. I'm so happy I just saved all of these storyboards. Oh. Thank God. No, you're good. You're good. Okay. Okay. I got enough to work with here. Okay. Let me go to that. Oh, the snake stuff. The snake stuff. I have the storyboards for that. Yes. Okay, after we uh, get these little storyboards in, I'm going to call it a night. Because I actually do have to run pretty soon. Hey, I hope your project is doing well. I'm doing well, Geek Universe. We're doing really well. Very well, actually. So these are storyboards from the snake fight that uh, were drawn up. That at first I thought I lost, but I thankfully did save them on online. I mean, I'd have to like go through them and like really look, like, like try to find all the archives again because I did lose a few of these, which I was really bummed out. So I'd have to see what I have left, really. But I am so happy right now that I found them. Because I thought I'd lost them. I thought they were lost forever. I don't know why I went Italian, but you get what I mean. Okay. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Okay, we're talking now. All right. Let me go back to that Legend of King Kong. I have those storyboards. Oh, oh, it's a miracle. It's a freaking miracle that I saved a lot of this stuff, you know? It is such a miracle. Thank God. <coughs> oh, my goodness. It's good to see everybody here, though. I really appreciate it, guys. I know this one took a little while, but I am, like, very happy right now. We're going a little over time, but that's okay. There we go. Yeah, like, literally, the similarities in storyboards. That's what's kind of crazy. Like, did they hire the same artist? Like, look at this. Look at the comparisons here. In order to beat Universal and finalize the deals after the courts. On January 4th. All right. And I think, once I get this last fade in, so what is that? Two minutes and 34 seconds. Out of how long of a live stream we talking? Three hours and 56 minutes. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Okay. But we got a lot done today. I am very happy, actually, guys. I am very happy with how much we've been turning out. But uh, I think this is where we're going to call today. I really appreciate everybody coming in. It's been a wonderful time. I'm going to save that, actually. So, just Wow. That's insane that I was able to find that stuff. I thought that, that shit was lost forever. 
But uh, I know this was a little bit of a boring stream. We're going on four hours. Uh, we're going to be back tomorrow with a gaming stream. But I really appreciate everybody coming in. Um, everybody, the super chats that came in today are, are phenomenal from Super Michael 99 and uh, Gerard Lang. That really goes help contributing to the channel. Huge thanks to my honey bear. Thank you so much for monitoring at the last minute. It really goes a long way. I love you so much. Um, but we're going to be back uh, tomorrow. I'm going to, I actually have to go out to do some stuff and planning for my trip to Orlando or to, you know, whatever, because uh, for pickup shooting. But I will keep you guys posted in what's happening. And uh, we're going to probably, yeah, come back uh, tomorrow for gaming. But really appreciate everybody coming in. And also a big thank you to Matthew Lamont for his documentary. It does help in editing some stuff in terms of reference and everything. So thank you so much, Matt. But um, really good to see everybody here. And I really appreciate it. So let me know your thoughts, how we've been doing. And until the next video, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Support our Patreon and so on. This is Big Jeff Film signing off. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take it easy and have a good night.